I lost a dog. Let's not forget that part. Gonna have to fix that up at some point. God. Um, can we go through this door to see if there's any shit right here? Why am I not pointing? Okay, yeah. I think, um, guys, we have to move on. I really want to get out of here so I can conjure up Thetis again, or another version of Thetis. <laughs> he won't be the same. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about your dog. No. Uh, <sighs> feel pretty bad about it, but uh, at least it's not suffering. Um, yeah. Well, th that little goblet over there was talking about its boss downstairs, so I'm assuming its boss is downstairs. Uh, and um, I sort of want to kill it. Same. Hopefully right here is downstairs. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Looking through the door, you see a massive... I mean, it looks like a column that would continue upwards and downwards for a while, but most telling is that several large skeletons have been chained to it, as in someone has affixed chains to certain bones and then anchored those chains to the object itself using rivets and metal plates. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, they're chained right now. Do they see me? Do they notice the door opening? They don't seem to notice your immediate presence. They seem to be busy polishing and sculpting the large spire. Spire? Yeah, the, the object in front of you has like it just it ends in the ceiling, which isn't all that tall, but it does look like it might continue upwards and downwards. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna close, kind of close the door and tell the rest of the party. Uh, there's like skeletons. I don't know if they're dangerous. Oh yeah, we did sense undead at the the start of this place, now, didn't we? Crap on a stick. Um. I'm okay. Just to say, I I only have like good spells, not that very decent spells t for damaging, only for healing. I say we sneak around. Uh, uh I, I mean, no promises. Right. Uh, okay. You know. Uh, all this junk sort of rattles when I move. Clank, <laughs> clank, clank. Oh, yeah. Okay, there, there's a, at the end of the hall. They're chained. Oh, stick. Is this some sort of droid cuisine? Oh, shit. <laughs> we have a problem. Um, Is everything okay? I need to restart the server because it does that thing oh. where it doesn't update things. Right. right. Go right ahead then. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, well, you can continue talking. Uh, I'm gonna say, okay, um, looks like they're chained, so I'm gonna run at the very end. Stealthily. Duh. And so that's... What's and... The game there? To cross through this without dying. Mm. Mm-hmm. See, see, Argus knows... Argus knows what he what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm just anticipating. Okay, let's see if things are anticipating fun. greatness. Yes, mm. yes. Yo, gosh, what is all this? Ability zero is not a. Oh goodness, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been gotten screwed over. Nice. I'll look into that at some point. But let's see if I can edit hit point values now. Oh, no, I don't want to open that. Just, okay, if that just works. Okay, cool. We're on the, we're, we're good to go. Hold on, let me just click through 10 billion of these notifications. Yeah. First. I don't know what's going on, and I'm going to look into it later. <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. Ermis is the only one on the combat tracker right now for some reason. There is no combat. Get out of there, Ermis. It shouldn't be in combat, yeah. He's having internal conflict. Um. <laughs> no, Ermus is just ready to throw down. Why can't I move my character? Because the game is paused. Mm. Try again. It's unpaused. Silly. Okay. My, oh, there's myself. more of this. 
I got myself some really fucking strong tea, so hopefully that will you notice something shake me awake. When okay, there's the... two. When there is oh, that that is mostly a collapsed hallway that just leads straight into like the hallway starts to slope downwards. But there is something over here. Namely the very dim facade of light. And the quiet but omnipresent roaring of a large furnace. Do I see this? Um, if you have a light source that... Yeah, there's light sources all around, so you probably see it, yes. Does he look ominous? There are like several you... zombies over in a separate room. They shuffle in and out of your very limited sight. Shit. Uh, it, this is like a full cover, right? What? I shut the door. <laughs> So I'm trying to click your token, um, see what you see. What's about full to cover? That is a, uh, a, a a pinch in an archway. It's a crack in the wall. Am I like skinny enough to like hide in that corner? Probably. Okay, I'm I'm gonna run to that location. You okay. know, guys, for the person who recommended good subtlety. Good luck. Good luck, druid lady. Okay. All time, right, you time my hair back. You, you just run across, I guess. I don't wait, know why wait, you why started. Is game... Why is the game still paused for me? Maybe you have to reload because you. I didn't want to be. I, I figured that. DG decides to loudly run and yell her way across the room. I Even guess. No, did you wanted to do it stealthily? Yeah, yeah stealthily, not like. Watch your screen. Fuck. Uh, that's a new way to sneak around. It's called distraction. I like it a lot. <laughs> Can you roll me move silently? You're not up against... <laughs> These things are not, like, the most observant. And the things in the other room... They were, are... like, chained? They're, they're making noise of their own. So you're, you're fine. Don't worry. Minus six. Holy shit. Okay, 13. All that stuff you're carrying is really... Ma Wait a second. You're basically... 90 pounds of goods. You're overweight. Like, literally carrying too much. I guess all that money you're carrying... Put that in weightless currency. That'll, that'll clear it up a bit. Oh, it's presumed okay. you're leaving this at the base camp in the little place we you set up. left that all in the cart. Ooh, please. That's what the cart is for. Please manage your weight. Olaf doesn't care. Oh, about shit. Olaf is good. Okay. Should I roll it again? Because it's in weightless currency. No, no, don't worry. You're, 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 you've made it just fine. Like I said, oh, they're mostly distracted. It's mostly if you have a very low penalty that they might start to notice you. It's easy to sneak around things that are constantly jangling and like chipping at something. Uh, you make your way over and can peer into the room. It appears to be a fanciful armory slash workshop. At the very least, there's a variety of metal pieces lying on large workbenches, an anvil, and a device that is so warm around the corner that you can feel the heat against the wall you're leaning on. Okay, uh, can I do like a thumbs up to... to anybody? Like, I feel like... Who is that? Argus? Yeah. I, I give her a little like thumbs up. And silent. Mm. Well, you're not dead. Love that. That's good. If you move silence of, let's say, zero or higher, then you can move across without any hassle. <laughs> <laughs> Negative 16 or whatever I am. Tink, tink, tink. Well, we'll be ready to protect you. Let's do the standard following. Um, actually, I'm going to order one of the remaining, well, the one remaining zombie to march in front of Olaf. Uh, the zombie will, of course, not and... drag any attention, because even if he has noticed, the creatures will immediately just look back at their stuff. Yes, exactly. So, basically, if they hear the noise, it will be coming from, quote-unquote, the zombie. I think so everyone else goes in the room before I take a step forward and I make everything look towards me. <laughs> Aramis, what's your what's your sneaky at? Oh, this guy can cartwheel across the room if he really wanted to. All right, let me roll. However, because he doesn't want to upset Argus, he'll <laughs> stay behind for now. It's not upsetting. Argus, I'm you don't have to roll worried. because you know you're sneaky enough. Fair enough. Despite everything, you're not that noisy. Is that a challenge? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give a little fist bump to Argus. Bop, 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 bop. 
Mm. That little fist I bump. Mirror the action. <laughs> yeah, and nice, nice job, nice job. Um, so he just yells and screams and runs around. Argus just kind of walks. Aramis just kind of whispers and asks <laughs> what the plan is. Finding the way forward, I assume. Uh, uh, now DG, it's now can, all lost. DG, can you roll me a spot check as you have peered into this room a few times by now? Yes. Look into the other room. You might have noticed it yourself if you use your own eyes. Flutter, flutter. Um, there's something unusual with the far wall. It, mm. in places, seems a bit... Like, from the corner of your eyes, it seems hazier. But, you know, the corner of your eyes also has less vision, so it might just be a trick of the lights. Damn. Can you use your sling? Yeah, I can, I can use my sling to, like, hit that location so they would look at that no, location. No, I meant hit the shimmering wall. Oh, the shimmering wall. Oh, Hold okay. Up. You moving out? Oh, yes. Well, everyone else is in the room, so before you do that, Olaf takes a step forward and goes. Oh, God. You should do it a minus the... 16. A minus Can't the 12. orc it's actually, carry you? It's, it's, a, it's a minus 12 now, but it was a minus 16 at one point. Even if you take 10 and take your time, that's going to be a rough call. <laughs> Can't the orc uh, carry you or something? Oh, I'm more... <laughs> no one carries a dwarf. By some absolute miracle. <laughs> you rolled a wow, 19! I rolled, I rolled a 19. I imagine God. that the orc help, the, the, the zombie guy just sort of stabilizes part of your armor or something, because, man, that's a sneaky move for how heavy you are. You all managed to join up the without a floor padded or something? <laughs> just shimmy, shimmy across. I'm going to hit the... The zombie gonna... lifted you by the armpits and just kind of carried you away and just kind of plopped you back he here. Was... <sighs> I mean, to be I'm fair. Gonna shoot the wall. See what's up. Okay, before we before you decide to start shooting the wall, there is one thing I want to know, and that is, can he actually carry him? Um, let's see, the zombie has... The zombie, I... I think he can drag him, actually. Drag me, yeah. Carrying, probably not. A character can lift as much as double or... Yeah, so he could... Yeah, the zombie could technically, five feet per round, carry Olaf around. So there's that really weird metal scraping sound, I guess. <laughs> it's, just, it's the most awkward thing you could do, what though. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wiggles a little dwarf. <laughs> if, if only we had two. DG, you pelt the wall yeah. with a rock. Does it go through, or like, does anything happen? Okay, tell me where you're aiming. Ah, mm, all right. I'm gonna first aim here. Um, flies through the air with the greatest of ease. Roll me an attack roll. If you miss AC 10, you will hit the nearby creature. Getting okay. Well, it bounces off the wall. There's this moment of looking around. And then you hear the faintest of whispers in the air. It's a bit coming from here? Coming from somewhere up ahead. Beyond the wall, best your by uh, oral detection can pick up on. Mm. That means two ears. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm okay, this is what I'm thinking. We can use that ring, no the mask we just got. And use that as detection, as, like, cover. Uh, Alright. The Mask of Darkness. Uh-huh. Yeah. Use it, like, right here so they can't see us, and then... The Mask Wearer can see us, right? So, the way that it works is that you can see through the darkness fine when you wear it. In fact, you gain dark vision. However, the darkness around you cannot be seen through by creatures with dark vision. So, it really oh. only benefits you. Yeah. So it's good for Scotty. Also, it blinds dark vision users while they wear it. So it doesn't benefit them at all. Yep. <laughs> Can I... we all be right holding hands and then he puts on the mask and then we just like follow him? I mean, we could, but then we might run into a situation where he would be fine and we would be screwed. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean. Also, 
I don't, I don't get it. Why are why are why are we leaving all these undead behind us? I don't I don't get it. Uh, flanking's not good, you know. Their master comes a calling. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess to charge and attack. I'll stay behind. I'll attack from afar. At least the chained ones. Yeah, you may may not. Uh... We can keep those behind. Yeah, I, w I was gonna say you may not want to stay in the room with the big guys. Oh yeah, true. True. Also, I do. I do resist the urge to at least once call Matthias. Fully samurai. <laughs> God. Oh shit. Who is this? Well, you did hear someone whisper. Yes. I thought it was through the wall. Yeah. Or you said. But like in a way that doesn't make sense for their. Like these walls are sturdy enough that a voice shouldn't carry that clingy through it. Yeah. No, it's not a wall. Okay, at this point. Illusion. Uh. Okay. So are we charging? Yeah. All right. So, hey. All right. All right. All right. I Alternatively, see. I could try to take control over as many of these as I can. Whatever. Can you do that again? Uh, since I've leveled up and I've buffed up my uh, charisma, I just got one extra charge. Ooh, okay. I just got a fresh, fresh batch of un of control undead juice. Control undead juice. Exactly. It feels hey. like an extra limb that has fallen asleep for the last time. Wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> wait a minute. The reset initiative button is in a different. Pl Where's that just until it starts? Why why do these guys not roll? You're you're. Who is this guy? The adorable oh. Haro Hobgoblin zombie. Oh, oh, it's because Argus controls them. That's why. I got it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> because like, Argus uh, has access to them, it considers them linked or something, it doesn't want to roll them. Um, it's because probably it's the same, like, quote unquote, instance. So, it, they changed it. The, the, there's now a little plus button where the, where the remove all initiatives is. I wonder if that's system based or what, but that's so nice that it's not the. Mm -hmm. DG, um, we're gonna say that this is technically a ambush round and that Argus. Goes whenever he goes first, and then everyone can do their turn if they insist. Uh, on ambushes, you you get one m one action, like standard action. You can charge in and do an attack, but only your movement instead of twice. So Argus, you try to take control yes. of the undead. Yes. Oops. Excuse me. Is there a range? Oh, there's more. Has? Could you please remind me? Is there a range on? I think it's like thirty feet. So I might wanna. If it is, if it is, then I'm going to come over here. Let's have a look. I think it's 30 feet. Because that's usually what these things have. It might be 60 feet, though, because this is one of those classic abilities, and they tend to be kind of beefy. Probably. One of those good old classics. And just in case, I'm going to have this fellow move over here as well. Don't forget that if you get a, if, 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 if you get a 5 in knowledge, religion, you get a plus 2 bonus because of synergies. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Synergies five are Five points in knowledge, whack. religion. Yeah, well... In a few levels, we'll get there. Let's have a... Oh, let's no! Let's see how... There's 60. 60. Yup. Well, let's see how hard I can fumble this. Um, well... I don't see why that rolls the way that it does, but... I mean, I could click this button, Click too, the but... button, please. I'm not sure what... Ugh, I don't know what's going on. All right, well... It's supposed to only call the second one. You make a risky, a bold and risky move and charge on in. Yes. Um, you heft your hands high and call upon the powers that be. Terminus. Terminus. Um, I need, really need some sort of thing to indicate these boys are on the good team, but we'll sort that out later. Um. So how many uh, undead can you still control? I think these guys are like one hit. That. Okay, cool. I'm two levels in cleric and I get plus one, so I assume it's three. Cool. So pick your poison. You, all of them are turned. Yeah, all of them are turned. I'll take, I'll take the green ones because they stack easier and it's easier to manage. Just put a plus one to you. You take level. over the relatively fresh zombie corpses. They yeah. are no longer combatants as they fall under your complete control. It feels very weird to have this mental link between multiple creatures like this, especially since before you only had two, and now it's three. Um, DG, as this happens, a voice cries from beyond the wall. They're worried, oh. panicked, concerned. They should be. 
Oh we're god, still, uh... We're still in the surprise round, you only get one standard action, so... Move carefully. Uh, do you say which ones you affected? The green ones. Arcus? You can probably tell, the because it's implied that they cower, so they show some sort of revenance to him. Um, some of them, however, just stiffen up, as if whatever normally animates them has changed hands. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my new ring that I got. Abracadabra. Storm fire ring. I just point and then do it, right? It creates a barrier effect. You, can, you must, you must call forth its power, yes. Okay. Uh... Ring, do something! And then I just, like, wave my finger <laughs> around. <laughs> Here's Argus, like, reading some elaborate... Re reciting some elaborate prayer, and it's like, fucking okay, random shit! Go. Ooh, that cast set <laughs> after level 12? Oh, shit. Well, it's fairy fire. So, oh. it's only really relevant for if someone tries to dispel it. No. Oh, so that's what... Uh, can I do it only at one person? It is a five-foot burst. But, yeah. you know what? I'll say you can hit these two zombies. They're pretty big. Two zombies okay. get covered in sparkles. No, wait. This sparkles. one specifically says that they just start, just start to glow with a faint outline. The and lights... I have to do 1d6 points of electric damage. Yep. They start to... Oh, bzz. oh it lasts for five rounds. Yes, okay, it cool. does. Cool. This is 60 foot feet. I guess I'm gonna move it like nice. this. The two relatively tough zombarinos do oh, take okay, the yeah. big ouchies. Six. Okay. I roll. It. Oh, I roll it once. Okay, got it. Yeah. Bzz. Or do I roll it twice? Bzz. No, well, rolling once is generally a bit easier for, on it, for everyone on the on the feats, as it were. Got it. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Argus. Matthi Whoa, Matthias. Okay, um, I think I know what's going on, and it has to do with all those custom class features that I made for Matthias. <laughs> I'll oh, fix it later. Error. Error. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Huh. Uh, I don't think Matthias can do much, but you can get into position. Yes, I will. Uh... Oh, yeah. I did this to indicate their friendliness. There we go. All right. So all I could do is have blades drawn. Olaf. Change! <laughs> you can charge it, in fact. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> stomp. The single standard action charge. A rare mm -hmm. event for player characters. But there she blows. There she Show blows. us that axe! Jesus! Change! <laughs> As you come closer, it becomes abundantly apparent to you that this zombie in particular is a bugbear. A goblinoid. <laughs> Seems a bunch of them got, uh... These are all pretty fresh. For what They'll kill you twice, you bastard! Um, do not mind the tiefling who, who is, like, staying behind you for cover. DG, it's your turn again. You are outside of the... So you have the whole turn. It's no longer a surprise. Go for it. Okay, so... Does that ring... I don't have to do anything? It just attacks it, them again? It zaps them again when their turn comes. So go ahead. It's a new round. It's a new thing. Although I think... No, no, no. Technically, it's surprise a isn't really a round, but whatever. Have fun, There's kids. a roll, or just have fun, wait kids. until they roll... I think, I think it's fine if you discharge it twice. Go for it. Bzzip. Does that consume another use of it? No, no. This yeah. is just this is the still active version. The charges. So now it's down to three charges. Yeah. Three so charges. Three, three rounds, I should say, right? Yes. Yeah. So you have five uses of it per day, but once activated once, it lasts for five rounds. It just sticks to them and zips. Yeah. So uh, only one charge is consumed. You still have a full turn of things you can do, though. Uh, I want to shoot this one in the head. Actually, I want to say, I want to ask who's out there. Uh, Just whispering in my ear. Free action, yeah, I'm going to use a free action to ask for... Who's uh, out there? And shoot this one in the head. Oh, shit. Oh, that's inventory. My bad.
Oh god, what the hell? Do you speak goblin? Do you speak goblin? goblin? It might make sense. <laughs> anyway, you shoot a bolt at Humst. Because I was slightly distracted. Uh, shoot bolt at him, and then three to him, and five to him. Yep. Well, I'll, we'll go for damage rolling once. It's a bit easier on the old hand. And it makes you feel better when you roll six, and sadder when you roll one. <laughs> um, as responses are given, they think over their exact tactics. Tick, 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 tick. Well, you know what they say. Nothing quite like covering a friend's retreat. Uh, Olaf, oh, look, did you understand, did understand that? that? However, no, oh, jinx! If anyone, jinx. if anyone here is terrifying, it's probably Argus, who's been, you know, conjuring the undead under his control. So, uh, shoot him! Flick! Argus, you are flat-footed against this attack, but luckily, those thick scales of yours soak like nobody's business. Yes, glancing blow. I did hear <laughs> what it says, and I'll let you know on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand over here. I'm going to use this particular zombie hey, as cover. What, what? Whose turn is it, Argus? Oh, right. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not too anxious. That's what I do way too much. Anyway. Oh, no. Which one is more accurate is the real question. Which one? Why doesn't it just show me attack values on things? Like, oh, this is how much he attacks with that one. This is how much... It... I guess it's the same. Anyway, Olaf... Big big hand lands on top of you. A lot of force, but easily. Yeah, even with even with me charging in, that doesn't hit. Handsome. There we go. That's the attack bonus. It's six. Delightful. Urgus, you're allowed to do yes. something. Don't forget, it's an action to give all of your zombies commands. <clears throat> yeah. You know what? I think I'm just gonna create one big layer of cover. I'm gonna have all of them move together over here. Create some space. Everybody, hold it up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's just beat the shit out of this one. And if I double click on it, I think it's gonna actually let me do it. Yes. So that's uh, that would be three attacks, correct? Um. Well, if they all charge in, sure, why not? Send attack yeah. each. Here's the one. Here's the two. Here's the three. A one, a two, a three. The. It's unclear if zombies are able to anticipate threats, but it, they all hit hit. But don't forget, slashing is what you need to cut up a zombie real good. The bludgeoning barely slows it down. I understand. What I'm doing right now is basically creating cover. Would you like to take a, a move action? Between. Uh, Well, you know what? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, That would be 30 feet, and I'm going to move over Bit. here. Can I? Hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There we go. So they will have to peek out of their cover. Oh my goodness, it is this every time, huh? <laughs> Matthias. Yes. Oh, yes, fine. I'm rolling up my sleeves, don't worry about it. <clears throat> I want my flanking, damn it. <laughs> what the Get hell the is fuck it over there. doing? Okay, it just ate your class ability. I but I'm scared. I'm scared of Get what the, the system is trying to do. There we go. D and D, but the AI uh, is self-aware. <laughs> yeah, they're like this class samurai should not exist. Destroy. Matthias. <laughs> For context, yeah, yeah, yeah. what you are standing next yeah. to is the thing that DG felt a bit ago. It is this massive blast furnace that is a bit red hot at the top, but cool enough to the bottom that you can stand next to it. Cool. You could melt that element. Zombie. Whoop. Careful. A clean cut. Though be careful. Be careful. Be careful what you wish for. Armored boots clump against the ground. Can I try to discern how many of them there are? At the very least one. Uh, uh, uh. They usually come in pairs. Well, then maybe there's a pear mm. and an apple. Olaf, these zombies are in the way between you and those goblin speakers. Well, the first thing uh, uh, I say is, "Yeah, some uh, idiot goblins coming down to uh, light the furnace." And, uh, Don't forget go to retarget because it disappeared. Okay, thank you. 
Wait, what did they say? What? Hey, they're gonna light some furnace. They're gonna light some furnace. What? That's what they said. Why it's not letting me target? I don't know why it's not letting me do anything. Huh? I have to reload here. Jeez, all off. All right. It's still target though. Also, I I've looked up some other things, Argus, and hmm. Yeah. Apparently, cowering is something else than I thought it was. It's an actual status condition. Is it now? Yes. Which is surprising. Oh. It yeah, would I've... still confer some sort of penalty, though. I'm distracted. Um, I hear goblins coming. So. <laughs> Olaf is a little too excited. So. Wow, there's a lot of weird status checked creatures prevents from achieving former movement by an applied wind. But yeah, cowering apparently freezes them in fear and can take no actions. But I think it's... It doesn't... Mm. It just says the plus two attack bonus thing, which is weird. So I guess they're, they're still capable of fighting and all. They're just like, woo. But... Maybe they can't attack me. And probably they don't want to because you're a pretty chewy snack. <coughs> uh, all that and also scary. Aramis isn't all that effective. And you know what? He still has weird opinions about the fact that you know, you're finding a whole bunch of z zamboonies. Yeah. Nothing like the slash of a blade that misses. <coughs> Dang it. Um... The bugbear zombie has no intention on fighting fellow zombies as long as they're not um, sh like immediately in the way. Ooh. Prepare for a battering. Attack of opportunity. I don't think they can take those. Zombies. Not this one. Let me double check for you. I think they can though. Zombies can grip and grasp. Stagger yeah, does not I, prohibit that. Yeah, it's just reaction. All right. Is it possible Brain. for you to try and trip it? Um. But trip it, they're mo <sighs> Let's take a look see. I I guess so. You can definitely try to trip, but the zombie will try so to beat back. Strength check. Oh right, because they attack. don't have that. In that case I'll just the simple attack. I don't want to lose them. Handsome. Yes. Go ahead and bonk it with those big yes. beefy yes. arms. Um well this zombie charges in the can he? Yep. Into the Wielding a fine looking morning star. Charging. There we go. Kaboom on top of Olaf. Ooh, yeah, I think that might be a hit, actually. Amazing. What a beautiful world we live in. Olaf can get. <laughs> <laughs> My AC, and that's a hit. Handsome. This one goes for the slightly easier target, Mr. Matuis. Matuis. Mr. Multituli. Alrighty. Behind you. Yeah, no, of course I would. These things have a lot of oomph in those fists. Bam. Alright. Aramis yells something about maybe giving your zombies knives if they're going to be hitting all that much more often. If they're going to be hitting zombies all day. I only have one knife and Aramis takes priority. Did you? Give me the electrocution. Um, electric two, uh, electric boogaloo. Zap. Ooh, look at that. Jeez. Yes, one G's. Whoa, that's that's a little more than I thought. Oh. <laughs> no, you just roll once. And it then just roll once, yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Wong. And then I'm a, I'm a shoot. I'm probably shoot this one because. Looks like they're taking care of those Matthias, three. Matthias, watch out! Pshum. God ah. damn. So, Eight. Oof. Nine. Oof. Um, Argus, since you're so polite and standing there in a corner. Whoop! Yes. Oh, you're in isolation! Well. With a great mighty charge, it comes for thee! That does hit me. Oh, it didn't account for hitting. Hold on. 23 there. Still doesn't do it. But this. 
for some nope, reason. It doesn't keep track of my hit points. Olaf, beware. Yeah, you have to have to do it manually. That's a miss. I'm doing it manually and it's not saving, but that's fine. How do we get this problem again? I think... Are you on inventory? I think that the problem is Mat Matthias and the fact that it builds these class features. And for some reason, I don't know who built this, but whoever built the class feature system, screw you! They keep breaking! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the reason it builds thousands of errors is because it keeps looping into itself. Ugh. Somebody didn't close a bracket. <laughs> Probably. Ow. Anyway, I guess you... you... I like to actually show this damage. Does it count for it now? Nope. I can hit Argus as often as I like, but he won't actually take the damage. Excellent. I hate this. I'm so yeah, angry right now. I'm a child from Bethesda games. And be a little shit. Uh. And not die. I'll keep track of that. I'm at 23. I wonder what happens if I just open this and then close it. No, nope, doesn't do it. If I had a UUD, keep it. <laughs> there it goes. Now it ate it. And it then gives me a thousand error codes. I wonder if it actually deletes them or if it's doing something worse. Oh, God. It. Oh, no. They might actually still be on your character, but invis. Oh, fucking hell. Who knows? Oh, God. Just like the backpacks you put in themselves. What a wonderful world we live in! Not backpacks, the bags of holding. Why did you make a class feature system that breaks like this? Uh, okay, so everything broke. Cool. I hope... I, listen, this problem was here before when I was doing a little test run, but I figured it wasn't anything big, because it didn't... Imp this is giving me the weeblies. Failure pain. Hundreds of thousands of abilities. <laughs> what is ability zero? <laughs> I know what it is, though. Okay, cool. I can now edit them. Slightly. Argus, you've taken four damage. Hell I can't edit Argus specifically. That's I know fine. what the problem okay. is. Track. It's your fate domain. I think. I imagine that'd be the problem. It might be. Since it's custom made, or it might be... Fi ugh, probably is Brutal Throw. Is it? No? Not gonna complain? No? Okay. Oh boy, I'm having... Oh. Life doesn't have to be complicated if you don't make it. Da-da-da-da. No, it's not that... This character is a new ID. It is designed to be added to characters only by adding it as a class or race ability. Remember to prefix your user. Fine. Does this fix Argus? Argus, can you get hurt now? No. Mm. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to have a real, real bad day at this point. <laughs> Man. Argus, please keep track of the fact you've taken four damage from something. Everything else around I you have. is working. It's just you that's the problem. See what do you do, you. Argus? What do you do, Argus? Well, since it is my turn, since the city decided to approach me, I'm going to just use the full attack. The claws and a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bite, claw, claw. That's the one. <laughs> that's the two. Armor class 18. You hit him that's once. That's the three. You're fighting a dude with uh, quite some uh, armor. Let's see, specifically. Yes. All that uh, chainmail clanking around. But at least that big old clock is still. Hey, you can bite this guy without feeling bad about yourself. Yes. I like the rest of them. He's not made out of carrion. Watch me Assume the zombies stupid. continue attacking. Oh god, they're still in there somewhere. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna give him the old give him the old roll. Give him the old one two. I th this game should be so glad that I have knowledge on how goddamn games work. Would you be under actors? Probably. 
Argus, would you roll the attacks or can't you? Yes, I can. Hold on. That's the one. Wrong game. That is the two. And the three. Jesus! Well, uh. You. Again, battering it doesn't do all that much, but that sure. Ooh. Matthias, it's your turn. What do you do? Uh, guy in front of me, full round attack. Swooshing and slashing. How handsome. Yep. All right. Data, actors. Oh, man, it's already 10 megs, huh? That's the first one. Second one. 18. No. Ooh. Both oh. of should hit. All right, the Wakizashi, technically. You could slash with that, just fine. There's an unknown com- Oh! Oh yeah, that's because he walked down the stairs, and I guess this is how the engine handles that. Alright! He's, he's gone now. Olaf, they're around you, and your defenses can't hold forever, it seems. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> still pretty feel confident about it, so... Uh... You still pretty feel? Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, Well... There's one less zombie. Zink. What a clean cleave! Aramis believes in himself. Um... He also believes in attacking the weakest target. Ha-ha! The one that seems to be a little bit more fixated on Olaf. Switch targets. <laughs> you'll throw him off eventually, Aramis. <laughs> or you'll throw yourself off, uh, really. Stay behind me. Uh, uh, the big, big old bugbear. Clank, clink. It swings. Like... You should not use a morning star in such a way because every time it hits, the the spikes are slightly off, so it caused this loud screech and bending. But you know oh, this guy's pretty. He's a metal bender. Huh? I'm gonna have to polish this armor off later. Boom. <laughs> Beautiful. Eleven, eleven, eleven. That's what I call seven, eleven. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. a jokester. Hey. But I'm bumped. No, I would not like to Better. reload. Sweet Jesus. I was right. This is gonna suck. Yep. Well, I'm up shit creek off without off a paddle. Put the well, reload button. The it did not reload. It did not remove Matthias's functions. They are still in there. They're just invisible. So guess who gets to take out the surgical tools? Once this session is over. <laughs> DG, what do you want to do? Uh, first and foremost, when I think... the show's over, Matthias will be beaten down and then recreated from scratch. I oh, love no, it no. when we get to do that. DG, <laughs> would you like to do uh, something? I want to just... Sh I, uh, yeah, I'm going to move here. And shoot this guy. Yeah, Don't I'm going to roll for my zappy zap. Hey. I'm going to roll for my zappy zap. I mean, Oof. One point. Baby saps. Just absolute baby saps. Also, <laughs> don't worry about me. I, I had a whole college education about how to wrangle computers. I'm used to it. Mies. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the guy is engaged in a melee, so whoop. I'm fairly sure it's As a free action, can I open the store? There's like 20 more enemies there. <laughs> nice job. Um, yeah, nice job. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. You can nut yourself into the door, but find this large open space that sort of looks a bit like a health spot. There's all these depressions in the ground with little cups and tubs next to them. Uh, uh, there's nothing in here. Uh, co co it's good to hear. It's good. I close it. Even the bugbear wonders why he shouldn't open foreign doors in the middle of combat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Everyone. He's undead. Just make sure there's no enemies on the side. Hey. Oof. Oh fuck. Oh, I started to feel the pressure. Argus, you're also feeling the pressure of this gentleman giving you the tickles. Yeah. Well, he thinks I'm isolated, but I am not. 
Oh, I'm excuse me. Pull all the... He was making yes. an attack. We'll have to resolve that one first. There we go. Uh, now you may move. That misses. Yes. The, the, uh... As he swings at me. I'll keep one, I suppose, over here to give Olaf. It strains your brain thing. to hand out such complex commands mentally, but you can do it. I can certainly try. And then these two will attack the half goblin. That's the one. Bink, boom. Yes. That's the two. He knows how to handle himself with those zombies. Yes, and this one is going to slap the other zombie. Well, that's yeah. a. Uh, Man, they really are bonking this guy. Why Why did it do that? It applied uh, twice to Olaf. Yeah. Give him back 17 hit points, please. Uh, actually, it gets back 11. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh. <laughs> Bloop. Good old Matthias. Oh, man. Ability zero. I really wonder um, what that means. Damn you, little zombie. Why aren't you gone? Damn you, little zombie. Damn. Uh, the guy in front. Oh. <laughs> that is a solid blow. Um, actually, I need to do some quick mental maths. Um, he's flanked. <laughs> so that'll be a almost. If only you had one more. If only someone can give me an excuse to give you a plus one. Oh, come on. Listen, I said. That's fine. Um, I said an excuse. Oh, you got two very beaten down zombies who probably will fall before your mighty axe. Take the guy that crit me because I don't like that very much. I don't like that very much. Jesus. Uh, the guy that crit you, which I think we we'll... should mention. The, nor the guy, uh, the north one, me. and eating it he does. Boom. Clean cut, but he's still standing. But even I can do two damage if I hit. Not like that, you don't. He doesn't even do two damage. What a hero. No, it does one. Um, seeing the fact that Aramis is being extremely active, this <laughs> zombie takes up. It doesn't step. It it does this. What even is this? Uh, Olaf make... and the zombie do get an attack from the <laughs> As he just peels out and, and sees this skittering bug prey. Like, hmm. Ooh, itchy tasty. Mm -hmm. So, Olaf, if you would like to hit him with your fine axe, he leaves his guard open. Ooh, now there's a blow worth being proud of. He practically walked right into it. Uh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> On the ground, apparently. In the ground. Ooh, edgy. Careful there, matter boy. You're gonna end. You're gonna end up with a lot of pain. GG. Damn, another. One. Okay, I'm gonna roll my thing again. Sure. B -b -b roll two or higher, and there will be one zombie less. You did it. Hey. See, people. No, think, we see most. People like to complain about little dots, but they can do. Damn it, they add up. They add up, baby. GG. You have your whole turn ahead <laughs> uh. of you. I'm a uh, shoot. It, he's still alive, right? Yeah, he's still standing. Shoot. He's giving Argus the old razzle dazzle. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh! <laughs> Flip. Doesn't confirm though. Doesn't confirm. But Doesn't have to confirm. Him. He falls uh, unconscious uh... as the thing slams into the sides of his helmet, and the shock causes him to fall over. I'm gonna keep checking doors, so I'm gonna go over right here. Argus, uh, yeah. unless you take a mental command to tell him to go away, your zombies are going to start eating this man alive. I will. I need him to talk. So these will shuffle over here, mm. over here, and hopefully over here. I assume those two will have to charge because it's a little... Um, they can only move 20 feet, dude, so they're not making it all the way there. Can they charge? Yeah, but only 20 feet. Oh, fair enough. In the, that case, a single action point. charge does not double your movement speed for the yeah, charge. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, no, it's yeah, other, the idea. other move, the run thing, get what you move four times, but you don't mm -hmm. get an attack. <sighs> Fair enough. In that case, this one will probably move. Mr. Ability Zero is not automatically added to actor because it has no universal ID. 
What do you do? And slam it. <coughs> well, that does Sorry, hit it, change. but it's zero damage. Uh, it's a good enough distraction. Distraction, excuse me. Boop. Look at that beautiful resist. Yes. Matty, you got only one boy left. Show him, put up those dukes. Duke oh, him. yes, like I a will. Ferret. You have flunking, too. Yes, Duke, I Duke. do. Duke, Duke. <laughs> please stop, please stop. That's uh, that's a hit right there. I can't. Oh, sh get out, please stop. No, what are you doing? <laughs> no, there's a the sweet Jesus. Having a file open that's progress. being actively edited is not good when you're trying to make a new. F Point is, whoa, that swing. 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 Bad, bad, it's a wing. Why didn't it confirm? It should have confirmed. Yeah. That is that is a swing of the ages. And another nice seven on top. Rips haven't been confirming in the previous session. Oh, maybe yeah. they're just trying. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, they're undead. They can't be created. But I say that a slashing weapon against an undead will certainly do the job. That makes sense. Similar to skeletons. Like, you just get a good swing and a couple of bones on the way through. Oh, well, uh, if you hit him with the other side of the axe, it's probably blunt. So it's a multi-skeleton tool. Jump over those bugbears and let them rip. The war Whoa! Axe can open any door. Which means it's also a skeleton key. Do we, do we call this the Dorvin key? Bark. Armus real. Dorf. Does he have a magic missile? Nope. Does he... He's got a bunch of spells for this one. Although. Ha 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 ha. He, he, he scoots and boots. His way over. Because he does want this to be over now. He doesn't want to risk someone that's going to... Would you guys mind if you got hurt? Like, the, let's just get this out of the way. How? Because Aramis can spend a spell slot and, like, do a thing. But he might also get himself in a risk. Like, would you prefer that or not? That, that thing is going to go next, yeah. so probably not. All right, well, he'll, he'll just wish you good luck. What about his crossbow? You know what? I appreciate that you think that his crossbow is going to do anything. So there you go. I was hoping for a crossbow. Watch where you're shooting oh. that thing! <laughs> Luckily, crossbows are always pretensed. So, um, morning star, Matthias. It's been working great so far. Look at all that blood oh, that's coming out of not this time. No. Hell oh. no. It's still reeling from oh, the blowing <laughs> Can't attack when half your rotting guts are hanging out on the wrong side. Digi. Go for it. I'm uh while I'm running I'm gonna do like a shooting attack. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your go get him attitude. But your accuracy ah, fuck. throws your accuracy off. Argus, perhaps even your zombies could beat beat it down as it were. Exactly. Can so I move right here and then open the door? Try to cool. You pieces. but we'll we'll get to that in a bit. First I want Argus to wrap this one. Okay, sorry. That's the one. Argus, that's not wrapping up. There you go. That's a wrap up. That's Almost done, though. That's the three. You know what, Matthias? Apparently, the kill is for you. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> you jinxed him with a nat one. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Probably did. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I cursed thee with a nat one. Actually, no, that what hits. The hell? Uh, oh, it's that me. Hit. I get to get it. <laughs> Here. Uh, charged? Wait, what the? This value will be persisted between rolls done with this item. That's neat. It tells I me. get to kill it. No, it's dead. <laughs> it, because it was flanked, it hits. There's a lot of funny things going on here, and I like it. Oh, man, there's a button for ignoring critical hit. Force apply precision damage. R oh, man, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Point is, combat's over. Um, I'm going to say that Argus... Well, I'll, let me just write down the CRs of this. CR, um, one, two, two, four. And then this guy is a CR one. All right. Experience is tabulated. DG, you move over to a closet of some sorts, like a large storage bin that occupies a large portion of the room. Opening it up, you find nothing too interesting around. Uh, there is some equipment here, but it's all rusted and old. 
And by the looks of the dust mark, someone took the clean stuff. Druid lady, why don't you slap a little wand on me and Matthias? We got more goblins to kill. Okay. Do 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 do. I'm gonna cast a wand of cure wounds on you. Rub a dub dub. Here, moderate. Moderate, and then I'll do more. How many charges does it have left? Oh, nice. Now that's what we call the the big uh, one. Who gets are you what? good on that, or do you need more? Uh, um, you you get twenty three. Good on that. Twenty three. I think he's full. That's for Olaf. And then uh, Matthias, Matthias, yeah. you get. How many charges does it have left? It has 28. Excuse him, this man's dead. Now 27. All right, I'm back. Matthias, you, you, you get 23. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. There are That's buttons cool. for this. There are apply buttons. Um, hey. I'm gonna hit one on me too. So someone was giving orders over there. I think we should go kill him. Okay. This this dead one over here, is some big big idiot. So I'm assuming there's a litty, little idiot we gotta kill. Okay. Uh, a hex for you, hex for you, and hex for you. What? Yeah. They're, yeah, they're already dead, but I like it. This guy over here, you can hex him. Yeah. DG, I just one. you feel something oh, strange yeah. as you're carrying out these rituals with conviction in your heart. Oh. Can you roll me some knowledge of nature? Like, okay. <clears throat> well, I'm checking if this guy is still... Alive, alive. I'm gonna order the undead to follow Olaf. Where the F is nature? It should be under your summaries. Knowledge. It's knowledge nature. Knowledge nature. Uh, fancy secret passageways. Uh, oh, you? knowledge nature. I appreciate the fact that Olaf just rubbed his face against the wall and went straight through it. Oh, That's... no, I saw the, I saw the hobgoblin <laughs> come through it, all right? I heard to be, the orders from the other side. To be 100% fair, the room is decorated in such a way. Like, there are tables and things, and there's nothing on this particular wall. Like, it's, it's obviously, <laughs> it's like... It's obvious. Yeah. It's, imagine if you take the door of your room and remove it. People would notice that there should be a door somewhere around there. Uh, I rolled a 13. Uh, the person you're dealing with, by the way, will be alive if you use that 8. So, Because there's an 8 here I'm see rolling around. Um, you're that not quite sure what's point. going on, DG, but it feels good. That was from Matthias. It feels good hexing people? Is that what you're saying? I mean, you know, magic is part knowledge and, and experience and part conviction. And you're not quite sure where all this fits in, but it feels good. Thumb ah, up. okay. You will things into okay. existence. Okay. I'm going to try and roll heal to try okay, magic. and slap him awake. Then call Olaf over, serve as a mediator and a translator. I'm going to assume that you have disarmed them and, and, and taken all the necessary precautions. Um, if of Olaf course. does not want to play mediator, let's see, does Aramis have it? Aramis, do you have it? Aramis can also speak Goblin. So, but he's I'm, I'm... more than willing to let Olaf do the talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Olaf's taunting whoever he heard that guy give orders from, and he wants him to come out and play. All right, Argus, you can you have him awake. He'll live. He, he's for he's now. still in, he's still like disabled like the, the yeah. condition for a while. But what do you want to do with him? I'm going to talk to him in common and see if he understands. If not, I'm going to call Olaf over. He pretends that he doesn't, but you can tell that he knows. That I'm obvious, like just... fun fact, you can actually tell if someone knows a line. Argus, weren't you the one who showed me that? Like, there's a a test you can take where they have colors and words, and if you know the language, then your brain responds differently to it. Do it with it's a guy. I think so. I'm gonna have these guys loom over the guy. I'm just gonna tilt my head and just look at him. Mm. Start talking. <laughs> you both. All talks in gibberish. <laughs> uh, I lost one of my zombies behind an oh. invisible wall because there's no light there. I found it. It's called the Stroop. The stro which by the way means syrup in Dutch, so strope effect has a fun is, is also a strope effect for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. That that was what I was thinking of. Um So you want to know where his boss is. Well, first of course, we need to get through the formalities of him being a, a dirty hobgoblin who thinks that he's gonna rule the world in a couple of hours. So um it, it's it starts off with the usual big talk and you have to smack him around a bit before he plays ball. But once you do, he he does 
<sighs> well then, fine. What makes you think you even have a chance? He's a dragon. He'll burn you to cinders. I'll kill any dragon, goblin, creature. Any of them. The only dragging he's doing is knuckles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uncle well, Dragger. You know, he's an idiot. Well, he won't be a... You know what they found here? Some stupid little dwarf invention. Makes things all different and strange. You're supposed to make armor. Best I could tell from what the boss read out loud. But it can also make people into things. A whole army of things. Unstoppable. You're, s you're gonna be meeting the new worm lord. <laughs> So your boss is a bookworm. Um, let me just give you the shorthand of this, of what's going on. Um, probably. I mean, you don't find out about this kind of stuff without reading some books. More importantly, he thinks that what they found here is going to be a huge boon to some distant war effort. Going to put him on the map, baby. Weird place to go looking for stuff. Who's saying this again? The the hobgoblin. The hobgoblin. The hobgoblin. Okay. We're intimidating. Got it. He's trying to be scary, but I can't roll social checks against players. That's me. <laughs> but why not? Oh. Because if you to decide well, if you my... consider his scratch that are, that's credible. Uh, I don't for the purposes of this conversation, but I will take them into account for sure. Uh, so yeah, he. You know, the fun part is that once you get someone talking, they like to talk a lot. Yes, exactly. I got a monologue. <laughs> Don't stop him. He's monologuing. <laughs> uh, best you can tell, they found this cool thing, and his boss is like, this is a really cool thing, and wants to use it to... I mean, he doesn't know the full details, because his boss has been down there for like a day or two, and they lost a bunch of men on the inside, on the way in, but he's still like super optimistic about how this is going to work out. I point towards the uh, undead on either of my side, and I'm going to ask, is that what the... Uh thing does. No, those were th those were just the natural consequence of going into a place with undead and being woefully unprepared. Ah. Uh, so, from what you can gather, okay. from like the subtext of what he's saying, it's possible that this guy wasn't exactly seen as an important dude. They send him out with mostly f Ooh. fresh rookies. That makes sense. That's why he would charge me like that. Yeah. No, they figured it might be a good training mission. He's all like, man, I'm going to come back. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to be all big, strong dragons, scary guys. I'll look at that. <laughs> uh, does it look like he's done talking about the stuff? I mean, unless you want to ask him specific questions or try and guide yes. the conversation. Yes, I was just letting him talk. How many of them are here? Um, Well, you did see his friend. And he does think that there's like... Ten or so left, and they're all good. They all got good swords, arms, etc., etc., etc. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah. Thank While you they're for still all talking, the information. I appreciate it. Um. Well, here's the important lesson. Yes, exactly. So before, as you, as he just goes straight for the neck, and <laughs> giving this guy just zero, and beyond, um, he does like start to say that ah, you'll never survive being close to the end to to the to the to the, to the gosh. <sighs> You'll never survive being <laughs> so close to the massive forge. You'll bleh. Yeah. Neither uh, will you. You know, yeah. a nice monologue ending. Oh, look, so. look <laughs> you know, if you're going to die, at least do a monologue. DG, you're hanging out near this big uh, furnace. Can I open it? Looks like you can. I want to try to... Oh, I can't. I but, can't? Uh, you can. I heard, uh, I heard this one being told to, like, stock the furnace. Kick the corpse I just decapitated. I think it's they're talking locked. about a different end for us, because this thing doesn't look all that threatening. Well, I'm just saying, I heard someone talking about stoking the furnace, and this dude showed up. Hmm. I mean, it does look uh, like Guys, it. it's locked. This furnace is locked. Um, all right, well. There is this. It's not really a lock, it's a padlock, and it has the spinny dial on it. No numbers or anything, just a, a spinny dial. Can I try spinning it? <laughs> Exciting. Which direction do you think is the right one? Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Uh, I'm gonna go lefty loosey. Well, would you look at that? It clicks open. Um, 
and <gasps> the door releases this <sighs> chill, which you can only imagine. Do I? Am I affected because I have that thing? I think it's a necklace. Hold on, let me pull it up. It's like a necklace that prevents, that keeps me like in the seat. Excuse me, it's same temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, verb. Hello. Uh, it keeps me the same temperature. You mean the crystal of adaption? Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, you're probably not going to be too affected by the fact that this. Imagine if you enchanted something with ice magic to help it resist heat or something, and the magic breaks because of you know, lack of maintenance and all that, and it just unleashes at once. You just get this blast of minus thirty uh, Fahrenheit on your face for a moment, or zero Fahrenheit. I think is where it's it's freaking cold. Let's put it like that. You could freeze oh. your, your water skin is probably frozen by the end of this if it wasn't protected by the crystal. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. It does last only uh, a moment guys, though. I'll it lasts only a moment, oh, so everyone does. else is fine. But if you were standing there, you would have got a frostbite almost instantly. Look. Oh shit! Opening it up, you see. Oh god! Yeah, you are. Ba <laughs> yeah, you start to open it up, and it's this blast of light that makes you go, "I should wear something." So before I start looking in here. Yeah. Uh, can I wear anything? Uh... <laughs> I close it and be like, "Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, freaking hot." <laughs> We don't have any glasses. Uh, what can I use? Don't you have that mask of darkness? Aramis asks, like, where that can I? Uh, Ooh. Aramis, can I use it? No, I know. I thought Matthias got it. Matthias, yeah, I got it. Or my mask about it. Uh, Matthias, can I use the mask really quick? Throws it at you. Go ahead. Uh -huh. I grab it and then put it on. This interaction Open. makes no sense at all, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Please do not step directly into a blasting furnace that's active. Oh, shit. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I know that it looks like a you door. You take but... 10 fire damage. And... <laughs> you lift up your leg and step directly into the boiling coals. <laughs> no. Um, taking a look around inside. Um, so this is a weird interaction that does not make any sense because there is complete darkness, but you can also see that the coals are clearly trying to... Gl it's Try not to think about it. Um, the inside is blisteringly hot, and even with this crystal, you can only go in so far before the heat, like, you hear the flesh start to singe, or you can feel it. But, Ooh, on the inside, okay. like, you find that someone hung, like, a key up. It's in the corner of it, and you notice it and pick it out. If you want Okay, to. cool. Yes. Quickly pick up the key and leave. Uh, it takes a moment okay, for I grab uh... to lose its hot temperature, but hey... Yeah. Uh, I got this key. Whatever it does, but... Well, there's a locked door in the room, Anto. Oh, yeah, shit. In case you didn't notice. Well, over this. This door has a big, pretty big padlock, and slapping the key inside and clicking it open, you find a room that dazzles the eyes. Flutter, flutter. This room, um, if you have your, your dwarf friend inform you, or if you happen to be familiar with the metal yourself, contains... Two sets of beautifully made armor, a fine set of gloves on a small shelf, and by your best estimates, about a thousand pound of grayish metal. Ooh. Olaf, over here, look! And then, uh, can I grab the glove? The gloves. Marvelous. Is it, like, magical? Well, who knows? Maybe if you rub them on your cheek and kiss kiss them goodnight? <laughs> uh, Aramis, is this magical? And then I show him. What am I looking at? About a thousand pounds of silver. Uh, masterwork full plate and masterwork breastplate. What size is the plate? They're all pretty much dwarven size. Ugh. I'll be, uh, hey, Argus, let me strap on. <laughs> Absolutely. This is the part where I remember that I can open the cart and drag items into that inventory. I, Olaf Ooh. takes the next five minutes with Argus strapping on his new full plate. <laughs> now he will never stealth again, guys, because, yeah, yeah. it's going to be real oh, bad. God. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, is the, are the gloves magical? Uh, you, you see him wave him around a bit, and he's like, probably. He tries to focus as best as he can on like, things that he remembers, like specific design patterns. Ugh. Hurts his head. He's been thinking too much today. He doesn't quite. Sorry. Know. Okay. Yeah. 
Do I have a wand of? I don't I have a wand of detect magic? Yeah, I do. I might cast. Oh it my goodness! On this. Okay, well, like a complete idiot, I accidentally put the unidentified <laughs> text in the ident on a, in the identified text in the unidentified section. <laughs> so technically, you know what the item is already. Well, great. <gasps> Well, we'll, 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 we'll put that one on there being an instruction manual and not me being a complete idiot who got things mixed up. Wait, where's the one? Uh, where's no, the, the, glo the gloves. The gloves are in your cart now. Uh, these are gloves of endless javelins. With a swift <gasps> mental command. <gasps> they give you a plus one oh! mental javelin. I'm going to take one. You need both. I'm going to take the gloves. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, Matt. So, if you want to hawk some, go for it. Endless javelins, yes. Olaf wearing his new endless plate. javelins. I can just like throw javelins endlessly. Uh, as a free command, you create a javelin that lasts for as long as it's necessary to make the attack. You can cool if you really wanted to. Um, you could look at the cart, and I'll pull up the descriptions for everyone to see. Since I made the whoopsie. This is so cool. Uh, Since it's a free action, you can effectively make a full attack of as many as you like and just keep throwing it. So if you're a monk with with cool tricks, <laughs> fucking machine gun. That is so cool. I, I throw my crossbow away. <laughs> I can't okay, believe okay. you're littering okay. in an old rune. Don't litter. You... No, I pick it up. I pick it up. <laughs> Well, are we doing anything? Uh, is with there this? a room? Is there a room in here? Uh, the door in front of you appears to not move at your touch. It's let's just say it's stuck. It's it's comp like yeah, you gotta get some muscle in there. What was Irma's talking about? Well, oh, he was saying like don't litter, <laughs> just like you were. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't throw the. Mm. Yeah, uh, I need your help over here, uh, orc dudes. Oh, what are their names, Argus? You're not going to give them names? <laughs> they don't have any. <laughs> they probably did. So, so they're just... Them. They're tools. <gasps> tools, how dare you, Argus? My, my good... Uh, my good... How goblin, what is your name? I asked each and every one of them. Um, While you get back, <laughs> different... Sounds. Um, it's very open to interpretation. Yeah. Ah. So uh, make of it what you want. Erg, og, and oog. And <laughs> Instead of the normal. <laughs> you know. Oh god. Gross. Oog, og, and oog. Can you? Um. um Mike, Lou, and og can definitely door, help please? you out with this. I point over here if they can open it. Um, well, with the combined forces of three unrelenting undead, you can definitely force the door open. If only because it eventually oh. starts to splinter. I'll order them to open it. Up ahead. I'm just checking Thank you, all Argus. Traps and belts and buckles. Up yeah, ahead is a... Through. This is a Check. nice space. There's like some dirt and small brick lines. This might have been a small park if someone had maintained it and kept the plants alive and watered it and provided some light sources that were better than these dinky things. Um, at the center is a small pool with some stone benches around. The pool throths and boils with a shadowy blackness. You hear something in the back of your mind. Whispers of madness. I have the mask and put it on just to like be safe. <laughs> the mask does not n protect you from the, the whispers of madness. The grow the closer you get to the throttling pool. Oh god. Uh, uh. I'm a, can I put my feet in? Like, get my toe in? I gotta say, I've never seen a person so eager to take a foot bath. <laughs> <laughs> As you get close, the throthing grows into a shadowy shape. That boils from the surface. What is everyone else doing, by the way? Well, once I know just DG just venture forth, I'm gonna tap all of Aramis is like it wasn't me this it. time. <laughs> Good. Don't. And I'm gonna hurry after them.
Do, 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 very well I'm just cool. chilling. Oh, very, very and handsome. Dipping my toe into this pool. Excellent. Well, um... So I'm not sure not being reckless. Mm. Listen, man, sometimes you just gotta drink some crazy water. You gotta, like, live your life. Can you please yeah. roll me a DC-16? We'll Wait, save. Where are you guys going? There's a, a hidden wall over here. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw this room. I'll, I'll, okay, we'll go there. I just wanted to see what's in this pool. DC-16 we'll will save. Yeah. Loose. Foot loose. Put on your fucking oh, feet. Eleven. Foot feet. Um, you are affected oh. by something. Oh. Okay. Let me take. Oh, guys, guys, I feel affected by something. I don't know what it Actually, is. Actually, you don't say anything because you suddenly stop and stare blankly ahead of you. Your hands move towards your face and start to claw at your cheeks as you feel a deep, numbing despair. Grow inside of you. Very right back. It's Can the... I and, and I'm still in pool. darkness, right? And the creature manifests itself from the water. Am I still Hello? in darkness? Um, yes, but that doesn't change the fact that you've gone insane and something has noticed that you've disturbed its pool. Which are the important oh, details. Oh, God. So Fuck. it's all the darkness, so we don't see anything. Yeah, nobody sees anything. Everyone just sees this big bubble of roiling darkness. Why did I put on the mask? 20 feet wide? No, it was like 5 feet more. You know, it wasn't that big. But it was annoying. There, it's very can annoying. I claw myself, can I claw myself out of the mask? We'll see how this goes. Can you run me 2d4? Fuck. Put on your fucking feet. Oh, well, I do want to mention that I did heal myself to max really quick. Go nuts. I don't know how to... Add that on. Oh, okay, got it. Never mind. <gasps> For anything. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's doing that thing again. <laughs> I know just how to fix this. Uh, 2d6. 2d6. 5. Oh, you don't even have the mask. No. Whoop. Not 2d6. I think I've said like. Whoa. 2d4. 2D4. Thank you. Oh. 2d4. Six. Wow. The irony. Do 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 do. Papa. There we go. Everyone, initiative, please, because things are about to go down. God, I don't want to kill DG. God. <laughs> Why'd you walk into rooms alone? Why did you and dip your foot into? I don't know. She was curious. Why curious. Dip it, don't, Curiosity. I think Matthias here will probably appreciate it if you don't stick your foot in bubbling black smoke emitting pools of water in dead rooms in the future. Is that how he came to this world? I mean, I th I'm talking about the, 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 the person because they're running a new game soon, so <laughs> just giving some life advice. Right, fair enough. DG, Matthias, and Olaf, I'm not seeing your initiatives yet. Unless something went wrong. It's it's not started. It didn't, it didn't start. Brrrp. They started on my end, however. Oh, okay, nothing. sorry. Ah, my foot! Is it just a globe of darkness that's attacking you? Or... No, it's a globe of darkness that is emitting from this person. Because they're wearing the mask. The smoke from the, the ground dissipates as it goes towards the ceiling. It is not building up in this room or anything. Well, fine, I'll take care of it myself. Here's what, the boy, by the way. Do we, what do we hear? Madness. Utter madness. Um, once it has picked up on a prey, this creature jumps from the water, allowing its babble to spread through the holes and echo off the stone walls. Shit. As it comes out, it would like to touch and suck out everything that makes you a person. So went on we side also... mission. First we had to worry about the tiefling, and now we gotta worry about the druid. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 we were oh, all God. to take save. The lips are hilarious. Like, Degala, Degala, you learned a very valuable uh, lesson. lesson. If, you if you should survive this, is don't run off on your own and don't dip your toe into weird pools. Oh, God. I love it. I love it a lot. 
What does plus two turn resistance even do? Turn resistance, collection paladins. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's neat. I like it. Let's take a look. See, madness. Anyone targeting with blah blah blah. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't try to turn or take control of ellipse. I guess. Otherwise, there's everything. Oh, it just drains your wisdom by four points. Hilarious. How do you like them apples? It's not a bit of a spoiler. No, that's what happens to DG as her brain gets sucked dry. God. I mean, Argus, if you want to control something that's literally making you insane just being close to it and want to have it under your control, go nuts. But that's your risk. You can still see me, though. I'm confused. Cause, like, oh, yeah, you're right. How could I forget? It does need to roll me that flat check. Nope, you're fine, actually. Oh. <laughs> it misses you oh, because it's God. incapable of penetrating this. It knows you're there. Like, it felt you in the water, yes. but it swings completely wide. Does did you still get the wisdom damage? Nope. Doesn't miss us. Alright. Thank God. DG is like, okay. whoa. <laughs> Your head hurts. Matthias, would you? Oh, God. Actually, is Matthias in range? Yes, but only just. <laughs> Roll me the will, man. Oh, no. Foot, feet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By hypnotism. Da, da, da. So it reacts as though it's with two steps more friendly in attitude. This allows you to make simple crystal touch feature more reasonable. Addition you can use there. What? Wrapped attention. Now that's a word I haven't seen. Well. We are really bad on wisdom today. Olaf, you have the benefit of being resistant to magical effects. And that won't save you. Oh. Right, oh. Probably not. Find out. We oui, we. Oui. Indomitable. Hello? Olaf, do what you must. No. Uh, the guys. hell, guys. <laughs> We had to kill goblins, not some ghost creature. Ugh. Uh, so, I don't actually see anything going on, so there's not much Olaf can do, so. I mean, you can see probably the, the vague figure behind it poking out. It is trying to make itself look large and imposing. So, so what am I? So it's on inside this pool. It's this actually creature? like on the edge of. It's it's inside the the center of the room is like this ten by ten foot pool that DG dips her toe into, and the creature is in like the furthest corner because it doesn't want to be in that awkward darkness in case it does something funny. Yeah. DG in a lot, so and then Alec chilling in a bathtub. My feet yeah. Like this I don't like it one bit. <laughs> uh. Sucks to be you guys. <laughs> and that's my turn. Awesome. Shut the door. I don't know. <laughs> Shut the door. Oh my Argus, god. We'll say please. I uh, I uh, stand I stand in the doorway and I, ca I fight defensively because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Unfortunately, Dirty you're like, oh no. Nothing. Uh, Aramis. Um, since 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 Montaius is no longer affected by the babbling, he probably snaps out of it when Aramis suddenly starts shaking him around. Do you need to roll the two d four for me, or was that roll for me? I'll roll you some two d fours, good sir. Three turns. An echoing and booming voice comes from the walls. You see, peek through it, a humanoid figure with more cohesion than the shadow you were facing. This being Shit. is glad to get a snack, but it is disappointed you were not what it saw before. And thus, it takes advantage of the fact that you are brainwashed, and it is immune to this brainwashing, and demands to know where the dragon has gone. Are you, are you talking about a goblin dragon? This guy, I thought you closed the door there, Olaf. Uh, no, I stand, I stood in the door and fought defensively. Oh. Well, in that Closing case, the door was a joke and an accident. Well, in that case, um, the door was there. I'll have to see if this m mother clucker stays alive. Well, I guess, you know, Aramis doesn't really like listening to people. <laughs> now, did it ask me? It asked you specifically, yes, since it can see you and like the lady in the clouds. Right. 
Uh, I assume that I will have to tell them. You have to tell them, yes. You I mean, technically speaking, since you have no idea who this is, you would probably be initially indifferent, and it makes you two steps nicer, so you're like, I should probably talk nice to this guy. That seems like a good idea. Well, I'm affected by a, basically a brainwash effect, so I will tell him what I've learned from the uh, Hobgoblin earlier. And I will Which is exactly that they're deeper in the dungeon. And I will feast when he returns. Finish your snack. We must lay an ambush. Swoosh! Um, Aramis is, is shaking, good friend. The Allop is going to do what it was asked to do, which is finish its snack and treat. <laughs> 101d20. Um, unfortunately, it's really hard to hit something that you can't see, even if it's standing perfectly still. It, it's kind of just making lots of guesses uh, as to where DG is. I can't. I'm hypnotized, right? So I can't like do anything. Nope. You're just kind of going those things. Well, to be to be 100 percent clear, what's more of the problem is that you're not sure what to make of this. Like the the thing of hypnotism is, um, gosh, <laughs> the problem is that you're facing a creature that. You're not. You, my head is brain is shutting down for a second. Give me a moment. <laughs> I, I need to reboot. <laughs> I know that the server is usually what has to reboot, but sometimes <laughs> it's me. Um, it it's the only thing here that you can reasonably fight, and its madness doesn't give you any cohesive thing to work off of. So it just confuses you in place. It's too many words to think straight. So you, if if you had like a dog biting you in the ass to some direction, you could probably move, but. Also, you've encountered this kind of madness before, so you're at least somewhat aware of what it does to your brain. Matthias, Aramis shaking you wildly allows you to make the saving throw again. Go ahead. Almost. Almost. If only he Almost. slapped you on top. Olaf, the, the, the creature seems to be busy eating DG. See that, though? I see a big bag of black darkness. I mean... <sighs> We saw Black I, Black I, Darkness when you know, I was going I through the... I, no, field. I'm playing this how Olaf would see it. I don't see into a black... You're wearing the mask, right, DG? Yes, there's no, no yes. way he can see you. No way I have any idea what's going on inside that. At but most. I Argus, at most. I do see Argus sitting around still, so I'm going to walk over to him and slap him. At most, Get he sees some arms yourself. swinging around the sphere. Get out of yourself, lizard. Argus, you get another real save because your friend is beating you up. <laughs> slap. <laughs> nice. The slap gives you a plus two. Also, you're technically not in combat. Oh, wait, that means that Matthias has also snapped out of it. Probably. Yeah. Because the situation is more dire, and that breaks the mind free. Um, Argus, you've regained control of yourself. As you yes, got slapped. I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna send in the zombies to slap off the freaking mask and to pull away DG from the pool. It takes a moment for your thoughts to gather, since, you know... Madness was in there a second ago. Um, first and foremost, DG's mask is removed. They are not in any position to resist, and I assume they probably want it off anyway. What the hell is that? A shadowy, wispy figure that never seems to take the same face and shape twice is now able to see DG and do what needs to be done. Oh god. Um, DG also does get pulled like five feet or so as the zombies retreat. <laughs> Oh, wait. Can I make another will save? I need to be 100% fair, technically. You have to roll me. I'll roll it for you, just for convenience's sake. But you do need. You are attacking something you can't see <laughs> to remove it, so. Can I make a will save? Probably. You are getting shaken around a lot. Cool. Ugh. You're so deep so under close. its spell, Aramis is like, oh, you know what, guys? I don't think it's going to be stopped by a door. Uh, what's, oh uh, shit! Is it incorporeal too? I mean, it's a smoky thing. Time. It's a smoky figure. Maybe it can go through walls. Maybe it can crack. Go through cracks. Oh. The Alp is eager to Chat. get a snack. Hello. I was told to finish its snack and go home, so it's gonna do just that. Just, 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 just a little, a little nibble. Uh, DG's. God. Flat-footed is unfortunately pulled away. 
Your touch is unfortunately 10. If only you had all those cool things that make uh -huh. you have. Point is, your wisdom is drained as your focus on mental... Foc oh, Okay, drain is the bad one, right? Just uh, want to make that sure. Oh, no, it's damage. Excuse me. Yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah drain is the bad one. Damage is the good one. The <laughs> damage is the one that doesn't doesn't cause you to need to visit a cleric. DG! Where's some ability task? Yeah, man. It, it doesn't doesn't try to kill you. It just tries to suck your brains out. Oh, God. Oh, no, Do you know my wisdom is seven? It is drain, but only on the attack. It's it's not drain when it I mean, try to brain mind brain it. Weird. Anyway, you've basically semi permanently lost the points of wisdom. As part of semi permanently. Yeah, drain is hard to get rid of. I go see a cleric, yeah, and pay some gold. Ah, uh, oh, I'm a three wisdom, so I'm at thirteen right now. Yep, Matthias. Um, you've been snapped back to action by Aramis, who doesn't seem too happy about the situation. What's your oh, spellcasting no. modifier, by the way? It was uh, plus druid. three. No, it's plus no, zero. No, no. The wisdom is your stat, right? But you yeah. cast spells, and you're yeah. below 14. You should probably check on that. So, normally hers was 13. It's now 10. She cannot cast anything but cantrips uh, and a sirens. There, that's what it is, yep. You can't cast spells anymore. Oh, the, ghostly looking thing. Whatever you try to... Thank God, I got, thank God I got that ring and javelin. Whatever you try to manifest a spell, there's just too little focus. Your brain is too clouded. Aww. Oh, damn. Fuck you! Fuck <laughs> Can I say that? Or am, am I too... You're, you're a little, you're a little too far, but I assume that the half words Dave. fall from your lisp. Lip. Okay. Hey, get used to the ghost touch weapon, finally. It's helpful. Oh no, I gave you a ghost touch weapon? What a terrible idea. Yes, yes. I'll never make that mistake again. Yeah, you will. Fuck! <laughs> well, that's as far as I can go right now. I can't, can't really do much. Really? You have a whole turn. You can run over there. Ah, uh, man, I guess I could. There you go. Takes some hits for everyone, as usual. The ghostly kopesh. It's a strange weapon. Uh, do you have a strike set up for it or not? Uh, no, but I can roll. It's fine. The man can roll. <laughs> There's a cleanup button in the inventory now, specifically for... Oh, that's so great. I love it. <laughs> that's so classy. It's a plus one Kopesh, or just roll melee and we'll add one in our brains. Um, this thing does not have the greatest armor class in the world. So yeah, it you hit it. The unnatural force hisses as the... Kopesh, which, by the way, is a bit... It's a bit rusted. It's got those little pits in it that you sometimes get with old iron weapons. Roll me damage. A loud hiss permeates the air as the ghost touch cleaves... Oh, wait, no. That's 19, then. It doesn't like wait, that. I'm com hmm? I do have a question. So, does you already automatically minus 3 to my wisdom, or...? Yes. Because this is... Oh, under, okay, so Under sorry. the Attributes tab, yeah, you can it, set up your damage and drains and penalties. Oh, okay, so I'm at 13 right now. Sorry, because I already moved it to 13. In that case, you can cast spells three. just fine. Okay, I was confused. I was like, wait, what? Olaf! So now, I, I, I'm at 13. Olaf! This pool, like the edges and shit. Mm, what, what's I it? don't want to... I don't want to be anywhere near that pool thing. Uh, well, the pool like... occupies the center of the room, which is like here, so yes, you can approach it and hit it without getting into the pool itself. The pool, by the way, has ceased bubbling. No, I don't, I don't like it. So I will uh, get on the... over here and swing with my magic weapon. <gasps> magic whip. That's a mighty blow. But did you know... Oh, shit. Um, well, <laughs> fuck me, I guess. Um, I guess Olaf is as good at killing ghosts as he is at killing... Nah, I don't know what to make of that. I'm scared now. I told you we have goblins to kill, goddammit! Oh. <laughs> I don't want to know about a guy who can... Who basically takes most of the hit points out of a ghost in one swing. That's scary. 
That's oh, max, God. maximum damage they rolled right there. By um, the way. Somehow, and I don't, I don't think anyone wants to think about it too hard. With a single swing, the shadowy figure howls in pain and ceases to exist by the looks of it, as the smoke just collects on the ceiling and begins to evaporate. And my the first master shows up. At this point, you have enough time to wake everyone up and get back to it, as whatever you saw up here from the walls has not shown itself since. Get yeah. out of here, lady! Slap, slap! Oh, God. The zombies will carry you out. Or just walk under your own power. I grab my mask from Oog. Uh, oh my god, he gave me a headache! Did it, yeah. Shut this door. Don't go running off and sticking your feet in weird pools. Remind me of home. Especially when you have goblins to kill this way. Oh. Fair oh, enough. That's right, Em. Hold on. No, no, me and Emers get it right. Erebus will politely explain to you, from beyond the fourth wall, that that over there is a stairway icon. If you can see it, if you zoom in real close, yeah. if you select some tokens and then click on it, you will instantaneously be teleported to the next map. This is a new, exciting technology I was talking about. How do, how do I click on it? Well, Aramis goes over to it, and you just click the little icon, boop, and then he pops into a different map. Oh. Which is to oh, say that you go down. That? That's a gray screen. I gotta. Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, Trying to uh, load, just not working. Huh. Um, okay, there's something. Open, not... okay, there oh, oh, there's something hilarious going on right now, and I don't like it. Oh God. I think Loading that. Loading city, and it just goes 100. percent I think and... every uh, single instance of you clicking that causes everyone else to reload too. That's great. Great. Huh. That's oh. great. Oh wait, Matthias has to come here too. Uh -oh. Matthias goes into the closet for exploration purposes. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Whoops. Damn it. Keep <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I and now Matthias has to load. Uh, Give me a moment. I'll take you there. Country there road. we go. Oh, We're that's trying a... to use the stairs. Whoa, there's something. Okay, I did some, some, some whoopsies. Oh, God. I'm by myself again. Would you excuse me for one moment as some accidents have taken place? Oh no, was it number one or number two? <laughs> no, I'm <fucking. laughs> There. Things are... Was it number two or number one accident? Oh god. No, no the accident was that I made some mistakes. Now it's just blank. Well, um... if you give it a hot minute... Today has been a beautiful disaster. What did, um... zero, blah, 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 blah. Who's that a painting guy? The one with the beard? And the afro? Could someone still... Whoever is... A good. I don't have a character anymore. Hilarious. I see that this stuff doesn't really work cross map then. All right. Um. Oh, it's a T. That's what that is. I can't pull Theos to the scene. There you are. Oh, I... Yep. Experiment successfully failed. Oh, um, this is from Bob Ross. Uh, he says there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. I don't know if anything about this is happy. Uh, happy little tree. Now that you've <laughs> gone down even further, you can start to feel, like, even the non-magical people can start to feel in their guts this constant sense of churning. The walls here uh. are somewhat soft and pliable, and other times are hard as steel. It's almost like walking in an organ, that, in, in like a bowel that keeps freezing every second. Aramis doesn't like this. It gives him the heebie-jeebies. I mean, they said that this would happen. We would feel more chaos-driven. Mm -hmm. 
Additionally, there is no light. As in, everything is just this weird, ambient lighting. It's really... Something that takes a moment to get used to. But then it's I just... I can do the... I can do my thing. Mm -hmm. My purple light. Everything is blurry now. Somewhere. I'll cast my purple purple light. My torch of ever burning. And I can't see any tokens. Oh, how do I cast this? Argus, you're here. I can see you just fine. Can you see now, Como? What's up? I can't see. Have you unselected your token? Yes. You just have to refresh this, this page. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should give that a go. Um, there seems to be something weird going on, which is to say that around 30 feet, Matthias and Aramis will start to notice this since they're in hallways long enough to accommodate it. About 30 feet ahead of you, um... Everything else gets blurry and waxy. Huh. Oh, that's just... I don't know what's going on over there, I guess. But you want to refresh and, get, and clear your, your, your graphics cache. I'm refreshing. Whoa. It's not really doing anything. Can you activate my purple light thing? Now, if you want... Uh, let me actually tell you how to do that. You just... Oh, okay, there, where is it? Where is this little purple thing? Please do not mess with your thing. Oh, oh sorry. What, what was the purple light thing, anyway? Uh, it's called Torch uh, Ever Burning. I accidentally put it in my sack at the very bottom. If you take it out of your sack, that should help. And the way to do that is to simply set it to none. Is it the Ermus? Um, um, oh, okay, yeah. Is everything less blurry? Yeah. Cool. You move into a room that doesn't... Stone isn't like water, right? Stone doesn't drip from the ceiling. I mean, there's stalactites, if you're familiar with that geological event, but not like this. Um, Olaf, up ahead in the wall is a long messaging dwarven. What does it say? A lot. Oh, there he Oh, you fucking assholes. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Plants that choke the life of the innocent. Jesus. Good thing you're not innocent, then. Da 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 da. <laughs> And hags, oh my god. Well, you know what? At least there's a uh, will for us to collect. Uh, we're in some deep doo doo, though. Seems my ancestors uh, fucked with some magics and uh, brought some team at spawn into this world. Uh, probably not a good thing. Be prepared for anything. Explains all the warped hallways and shit, though. Well, it's a team on. Yeah. Uh, see, she's this evil bitch of a goddess. Uh, lots of heads. That doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, like a witch? <laughs> I think she's some sort of no, dragon creature. Uh, yeah. One of my gods. I'll just, I'm just playing down because the character doesn't know it. She's some dragon god. Uh, that's what I know. She's a bitch. Kirk, Kirk kind of always wants our dwarf treasures, and, you know, we always got to fucking kill them. It sucks. Well, let's Dragons. Just... Mm -hmm. 
Dragons never create their own treasure. They steal other dwarf treasure. I don't like dragons very much. But... Hmm. Are we uh, sure that we're going the right way? You know, there's some forge down here. They said the body goblin was by the forge, so, uh, yeah. Well, at this point, we also, can navigate by it. Also, uh, this Sorry, note... Sorry, could you repeat it? This note says, uh, we should probably sever the forge. I don't know quite how we're supposed to do that, but, uh, yeah. Aramis waves his hand at the distant where the air is filled with this dusty afterimage of a hobgoblin running. They were here longer than us, so... Probably goblin running, what? The balls indeed seem to be made of... Well, it's... It goes south, by the way. Um, It looks like flesh, but its texture is stonish. It's it's not something you want to think about for too long, especially not the part where... When yeah, Aramis... try not to touch the walls, guys. I mean... Um, and Matthias, hurry up, let's go. Lots of teeth. Let's just say teeth. Walls teeth. Period. Yeah. Statement made. Hell. Up ahead, eventually, the fleshy walls turn into a... Sort of a sphere of manure is a way to call it. Fertile walls upon which grows nothing short of a complete mass of shriekers. Those mushrooms that breathe. Yeah. Uh, when oh, the... Olaf is not sneaking past that. Uh, okay. Normally, uh, shriekers are like distinct mushrooms. These things are growing into the singular large shape. Like they're part of the walls. Huh. And the breathing, like because of their mass of and size, is so large that it sounds like you're inside of someone's lungs. Oh, God. <sighs> You know, like that. Creepy. It creates an audible breeze. A, a, a sensible breeze. Not that the breeze itself is sensible, but it feels. You can feel it. Your bones, and your flesh, and your, your little toe. Mm. The after image seamlessly ducks and weaves through the structure, going beyond it. All of one to follow the lead. I mean, they already know we're coming. At most, this will act like local wildlife. Burn him alive, do it. I'm going to have to mimic the, the movements of the after image. Uh, to go to the other side. I thought we were going to if burn it. Plan here. Trying to sneak past these mushroom creatures? Oh, God. Oh, uh, God. You're pretty sure you... I mean, you can roll me dexterity or, like, escape art. Something you think that can help, but... I'm just telling you this by the end of it. Regardless of your elegance or lack of elegance, this doesn't care when you touch it. It seems to have... I don't know, it's just not responding in the way that they usually do. Yeah, he's Olaf's just stomping along and will take whatever damage or I mean, pain. Cause... <laughs> Unpleasantly, you do get hit in the face with a lot of damp air. Fungus <laughs> air. Yeah. Can we just... Get this done with as quickly as possible. I'm getting increasingly uncomfortable. Yes. Up ahead is a room that... Um, take a library, like a bookcase, like a bunch of bookcases, and make a library out of them, and then stretch and knead them into some more artistic shapes. And this room describes perfectly what it is. It's an art... Feast? Is that what you said? I mean, all the books inside the bookcases have warped together with it. But shape and space-wise, this could have been an organized library, but it's since been squashed and stretched and squeezed like clay into different shapes. The room is still perfectly traversable, but you can't imagine any of those books are readable in their current state. God. Oh, that's where the exit is, okay. The further you go, the more you begin to pick up on this distant sound of conversation. As it begins to hit your ear and you can actually hear it. Olaf, let's go!
Excuse me, that was not supposed to be in common. Just when I when I figure it out, they will make perfect subjects for the new, the best, and the greatest. Don't spoil yourself. Just don't read it. Too late. I'll read it already. Right. It's megalomania. Uh, yeah, we're getting close. I hear their ugly talk. And I think they wanna. I don't care. I'm gonna kill them anyway. <laughs> How, How do I javelin to my attack roll thing? Um, I'll just give you a plus one. Oh, Havelin. Placeholder. Uh, Havelin. You know what I really like? I don't know if they fixed the throwing weapon problem yet. Ooh, well. No, I'll just You might it. need ammo for Wait, the throwing weapon for some reason. Jesus Christ, Argus. I know. You don't have to tell me how to live my life every day of the week. I don't. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> also, since the javelin is made of pure force, I imagine that it effectively functions like it is ghost touch, since that's what pure Ooh. force tends to be used as. Is it doing force damage? <laughs> yeah, that's Olaf. What are you speaking? It's you're. Are you speaking goblin again? Yeah, it's the best to taunt your enemies in the same time. Wait, I'm gonna make it a one-handed attack so that it ignores the ring some properties that are associated with okay if i click attack it now just okay cool it just attacks cool hilarious close, fantastic follow, we should follow information um you're standing next to a like the wall to your right or your the west for the purposes of this map it should not be able to do one damage since it should be plus oh it's because you have because you have noodle arms <laughs> oh well, god on the plus side it's better than nothing the wall over here um, is visibly warping and bending as if like a big heart, like a pulsing, beating organ. And you and Aramis and probably DG and at this point, even Argus will probably start to feel very bad as their innate magic sensitivity as magic users is really getting to them. Beyond this is something that you should wear protective equipment if you want to touch it. I'm going to describe it as having a pickaxe headache, which is what I'm having right now. Pickaxe headache? What? Imagine your brain is being stabbed with a pickaxe. Like oh, very God. localized. Very, like, pinpoint-ish. Imagine Wait, you're uh, Trotsky you need... in Mexico. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so we would need something to, like, wear in order to open this door? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. Well, the trail goes down south, and then it goes west, and then it goes north, and then you're pretty much there. And you hear right, the constant well, laughter and excitement of a man who's having a great day. Are you saying no. we we're having this pickaxe headache when we we're near the store? No, just in general in this area. This oh. this wall in particular is where it gets the strongest, which is well, probably directly the adjacent to the problem area. Because if you no, go away from that, you can. Marching through these corridors is very hard, but for the sake of reference, Olaf is heading first, Argus right behind him. Don't worry, Who's I usually Argus? reserve that for when it's actually relevant. <laughs> oh, just in case. I think it's for here. Go, go. Where's it hey. downwards? Where's the noise coming from? It was a lot closer than this, wasn't it? Okay, my right here. Dot, why does yeah. it, why does it skip Eric, back? I I will not move until you move. Bam. Words, words, yeah, words, no. words, words. Um, once you once you get close to this corner, you will definitely if you're not moving stealthily or the sheathing of bl the the weapons getting unsheathed, although they're probably already ready to fight anyway. Yeah, I've already I've been screaming goblin back at them. So goblin. <laughs> He said, um, hey, your head would make a good subject for my axe. Yeah, that's well, why I said in, in that case, they'll probably have, like, set up a small defensive parameter. Handsome. To the place. I don't think the regulars... Are these regulars or are they recruits? That's a great question. I don't even know anymore. 
We got a whole bunch of ugly in this room. Well, there are ones. Okay, cool. What? He just called you ugly. Oh, what no, yeah. Like that? Excuse me, these guys are unfortunately been a victim of the recent me accidentally deleting a monster. <laughs> Uh-oh. So give me a moment while I replace them with the appropriate recruits. <laughs> also delete monsters, and after today's swings, I assume that Matthias can also delete monsters. Yes. Up ahead, Stalin! Oh, wait, Matthias, are you gonna sleep right after this session? What do you mean? Oh, because I wanted to talk about my character a little bit more. I don't go to sleep after the sessions. Oh, shit, never mind. I'm never not sleep-inducing. No, I have a game in like a couple of hours. I can't sleep. When you round the corners, you see a wall of shields. Behind this wall of shields is the subtly waving floor made of stone tiles. Behind that is a wall that appears to be made out of just many tiny flames forming a single hole. Translucent enough that you can see this immense device that at one point may have resembled a forge, but now just looks like a heap of metal with arbitrary entrance points and exhausts that produces a blisteringly searing form of light that is okay. too many colors. Phantasmagoric is a great way to describe it. It's a great word, by the way. Safi, before the start, so we don't have to read Khan too much, can I have the zombies pick up weapons from those others with morning stars and whatnot? You want to give them morning stars? I'll give them morning stars, mother clucker. Cool. <laughs> do. Um, I'll take the zombie sheet and I'll just have morning stars to them. It's easy peasy. Bana easy peasy. Banana squeezy. You know, squeeze banana hey. for the juice. Squeezes the juice. <laughs> Squeezes the juice. How do you not want to make some banana juice? Um, there oh, is juice. there is one thing to wor worth noting, Argus, and that is that some of them will probably recognize their friends, and they'll be a little, 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 little bit spooked by that. That, They're like, that is exactly why I took over the hobgoblin. So. I don't know if your particular hobgoblins will gain the attack. Oh, they do. Cool. Point is, the... <laughs> The guy standing in the back would like to monologue at you, but if you want to engage, uh, this is not a monologue that I'm going to insist you sit through. That's alright. Kill him! I'm just gonna have the zombies charge. He he's giving us headaches. Kill him. He's, he's t well, to be fair, the thing's causing headaches is probably the massive device behind him. Oh, but, okay. Um, from what you can gather I from... Really it, hmm? We're getting to the store. I, I meant to do this last session. Uh, Olaf takes the potion, the oil of magic weapon, and gives it to Matthias. Add that to your sheet, bro. I have a spell for that too, just in case. I think it might be the best idea okay. to actually rebuild Matthias from the ground up, but that's easily said and done, especially if I have all the spare time in the world. We have the technology. Can we can Six million it. silver pieces, man. <laughs> Doink. Of course, he ends his little spiel with, Before I transform, I will first show you what I can do without it. <laughs> and draws forth a great blade. Hey, you keep talking, fucker. You know what? <laughs> There's only one thing a mouse for in combat, and that's for doing you something keep talking, right. fucker, and I'll No bully! <laughs> what about that charge? We're taking care of it. Right now, in fact. Um, does the, with his mouth. Pretty much all the guys standing in front are able to prepare an action to like, her. I'm gonna get you if you get any closer, her. Uh, Aramis in the back. Um, anyone in need of a magic weapon enhancement, or you're all good? Because she's prepared Matthias one of them. Matthias might need one. Olaf drinks his potion of shield faith. Okay, cool, delightful. Glad I was here, guys. See ya. <laughs> um, oh, wait. I think I have some stuff to drink, too. I might need one, actually. I have the spear, I can attack over the shoulders. Well, you know what? He's still got a light crossbow that's loaded, so he'll just take a pot shot at these guys while he's got a good chance that for it. Too. Miss. Olaf, they are all ready to start beating down on you when you get close. I'm going to delay your turn until the zombies uh, trigger their attack. I'm ready for him, so... Olaf will lift up his shield and just walk right towards him. And his action uh, is to fight defensively and get the plus four. <laughs> nice. Good luck hitting this brick, motherfucker. 
My new armor makes me invincible. Um, I think that's two cheap shots they get. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, the with fighting defensively and my potion of shield faith, my AC is thirty. So delightful. <laughs> well, fight defensively then, good sir. Yeah, that's my turn. Basically, what I did. Oh Locked yeah, that's. Oh, sorry. The... Excuse me. I forgot. You don't attack. <laughs> Argus. Yes. I don't have that combat. That, that happens at level five. Over here. I will attack over his shoulder. Actually, I won't be able to do both, would I? Do what? All right. So I guess I'm just gonna have the zombies walk forward and attack. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to let some space for Matthew, so I guess I'll keep this one in reserve. Do they get attacked? Twice, no less. However, yes. they are so unnerved by the sight of their of their old ally that their attacks are not nearly as good as they could be. It's pretty right. freaky. Like, We're their deep. old dead friends are now attacking them. Ah, 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 ah. Man, Jesus, it's getting aggressive with that. No, get out of here. Where are these reactions? Yes, so... In that case, I'm gonna grab them and try to push them into that flame, or at least make some space. Alright, so you're making a, a good old-fashioned... What's it called? Bull rush? Bull rush, I suppose. What do I need to roll for that? Let's have a lot of look -see. You can bull rush, stand action as part of a charge. You tend to push an opponent. Okay, cool. Um, I would like to point out that an attack of opportunity is different from readying an action and, and triggering it, so they still get to hit the zombie again. That is fair enough. Handsome. Um, and a bit of a of a of a oof. I got one, two, three. I don't think all any of these miss. Yeah, unless he is charging, then one of them hits and the zombie goes down. He should be charging because he can't move and attack. So I'm gonna say that's it. You lose a zombie. Fair enough. There's still a second one that's doing the same thing. Well, go ahead and give him the old rock'em sock'em. Let's see. You move into the defender space. Mm -hmm. Which was basically the defender. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Any opportunity to sort of sort of second. <laughs> you and the defender make a post strength checks. Plus two bonus from charging. Just a strength check, man. Oh gosh, this poor guy. This poor guy. Oof. Um, you have a plus two to that Oof. on top, which means that you beat it by four. Three. Oh, excuse me, yes. Um, four. well, it gets pushed back five feet, and your zombie moves along. Yes. I suppose then the third one is going to move over here and start attacking. Same Set one. Set a target and hit him. Yep. Setting this one. Clanks off. Clink, clank, clunk. Yeah, that is the end of my turn, except that I'm going to move over here and let Matthias move on. Alright. This fine fellow. Does he have flight, or did I not um, give him that? Let's see. I didn't give him that. So he's just going to walk through this wall of fire with some swagger. Oh, I'm gonna move and check a potion. I'll I'll take my potion of bull shrink now. Is it your turn? I didn't see that. Well, I did. Oh, then I'll stay right where I was. Excuse me. Sorry, I was running into the same issue before. What a weird thing is going on. I don't know. Ooh, gotcha. Big ass cone. Eh, eh. Gosh, get out of the way, cone. Am I blind, or do I not see Matthias on initiative tracker? You know he's right, he's right underneath he's below. me. Below, you might have to scroll. There's a lot of people on it. Might have to scroll if it's BB. Point is. Oh my God! I just noticed this wall of fire. I appreciate that you only just noticed the wall of fire. A massive burst <laughs> of flame gets spit by this guy. Are we in cover? I don't even want to know. Um, Shit. point is. B big ol' big ol' big ol' big ol' blast of fire. Um, I'll put it down just so that the game thinks it's okay. There we go. Um, Ouch. Yeah, I don't know what to, how to how to, how to place this. Uh, oh shit. Mm. 
Ah, birds! Oh, man. Who knew the fire was so hot? Um, I'm just going to do some basic math for you guys. I'd say that Matthias does get the down. benefits of cover, though. Like, he's got a wall to hide behind. Do yes. I get a cover or no? Um, I also, I think he's going to incinerate two of his allies right. almost instantly. At least two of them. Um, one to the other one who just got pushed out of the way. Probably doesn't like this either. The whole thing froze. I have to restart. Anyway, I go down. Actually, do the save is 21. How's a 21? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he has lots of hit dice. Wait a moment. God damn it! Get out of the way, ability zero! Jesus Christ, it's just filling up my screen every day of the week. Fuck me. I know I did the math. But you Did we know? get full hit? Do we, you're, can, you're, like, you're zeroed. Can you give me yeah, a moment zeroed. while I do some math for you? Let's see. So it's half the racial hit dice, which is six, which would be three. And this con is five, so it should be 18. I don't know where the math no, get went wrong. So you make it, Argus. You only take half. I think, yeah, it's not doing... Something went wrong here. Does he have ability focus? I am no, he down. doesn't. So, yeah. He just... Oh. The game just decided... Man, I was going to do some ring shit. Anyway, yes. The actual is 18. So, whoop de doo Man, I was going to do some ring shit and javelin shit. Oh, well. Yeah, oh, hey, Aramis, in the back. I know that you're very excited to not get incinerated, but would you die, please? Thank you! Hey, Dad, I think he was actually outside the range. He's by one he? square. The range is 30 feet cone, good sir. And then he is not in it. And neither is DG, now that I see that. All right, then. I guess DG is perfectly fine. Nothing happened. <gasps> no, Thank God. You're, th you're 35 feet away, DG. You're alive. Yay! Bless that second diagonal. Good thing I pushed that zombie. <laughs> because then you all would be in that. He looks at Olaf, who probably some of his metal is still like semi-hot, and then holds his blade and goes, that little can won't protect you. Probably not, but... DG. Your, your horns will protect you from my axe. Aramis feels his life flash like... before his eyes, and he's a little spooked. <laughs> it, it tinkled a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna... What can I do? I guess I can use my ring. And... Oh, you can hit a lot of them. Oof. All of them, pretty much. Oh, yeah, I can hit all of them. Yeah. Holla. Uh, uh I, 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 I named it Isvarut, and then I just cast Beautiful. this spell. Isvarut. Do I just roll 1d6? I don't think just roll me 1d6, baby. They don't get a save. I think Fairy Fire is just, they get covered. Yep, no saves. Yeah, not in this, not in 3.5. They all take 4 oh. points of damage. Well, the fun part is, these guys have like 5 hit points, so... Ah... Uh... Oh my god, get Cute. out of here, ability zero. I don't There's know what you are. More. Get out of here, please. That is going to get hit. Do I hit that one too? No, it's a five foot burst. Yeah, yep. but if they uh. burst it over here, then they hit everybody. Five foot burst yes, are yes, on yes, intersections. Do that. Do that. Oh, it's crossed. Dude, it's otherwise it'd be crack. ten. Uh, yeah, that sp makes sp sense. Uh, okay. You only get, yeah, you only get three. I'm getting my yeah. clonking okay. stick out, Como. You know what it does. Yeah, I mean, Safi, half. The reason why I'm so retarded yeah, think, is because think you think Final Fantasy it. It. it would be a great example of uh, your little plus sign. Never played that. Uh, so that's why don't you know. don't know how to do this, Matthias. <laughs> the hobgoblins are a little bit scared of the fact their boss A incinerated several of them, and B they're now covered in electrification juice. I don't think morale is doing good. Oh no! Matthias, did you take damage, by the way? No. Oh, right, because you were in cover. Yes. Yes. Uh, can I... Can Oh, shit. No, I already used my action. Would you like to oh. get incinerated? Because that's what I'll give you if... <laughs> nah. Anyway, well, but... I'm going to chuck my potion now, finally, so I could hit things a little better. And then I'll move in and be an idiot and take damage. <laughs> I think They every... haven't had their turn yet, so they don't... No, they I all wasted their attacks of opportunity on the zombie, so... See? Oh. 
Cool. Additionally, they're probably a little shell shocked from the whole fire thing, so don't worry about it. Sure. They're all looking pretty fucked up. Boom. Uh, I mean, he's standing right next to the guy who can probably th throttle him if he doesn't do what he's supposed to. So he's going to play ball for now. Sure. Look at me, boss. I'm playing ball. I'm hitting the guy. <laughs> yeah. Hit. You know, hit, hit, hit in the sense that the metal touched you at some point. Well, this yeah. guy's got a good hit on him. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, that's... If they... um... He didn't confirm. I was only seven. That's fair enough, but didn't they waste their attacks? What? Their the turn came up, sense. Argus! Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Did you know that initiative goes round and round? It does. <laughs> round and round. I Aramis didn't see... Can... <sighs> Never mind. can barely see this man. What am I to do? Am I that I prepare Shatter? Oh, wait. Maybe. If he gets a little bit lucky... Shatter might do something weird, because we are... Every, nothing is making sense right now, and this probably has good results. This is a great idea. I like this. He likes this plan. Uh, what if Matthias is not on my map? I have no clue where he is. Let's roll a D100 of fancifulness. Um, Matthias is right above you right now, Pius. There's no one there for me. It's invisible. I don't see him. <laughs> Good refresh, maybe. I could do that, but my turn's coming up soon, so I'll wait till it's after my turn. Sure. Fair enough. But know that he's exactly to yeah. the north. Yeah, that's not where he would be going anyway. This man takes a tactical step, mostly so that he's not next to his boss, and partially because now he looks busy. Yeah. Hits burning heart armor. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's not a good thing to do with your sword, I can imagine. There's someone on the other side messing with that big contraption. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with his hands. Olaf, free goblins. Yeah. Uh, mm. Still doesn't keep track of my hit points, but good thing I'm on top of that. I'm going to fix this with force. I think some backward compatibility problems are happening because this should... Yeah, oh, wait, it would affect him. Oh, it's okay, because the glass... Oh, Good job, great. people who made this! By post. What is Olaf gonna do here? Would Olaf wanna finish off these goblins or kill the guy who burst them with fire? It's a really tough question. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna kill more cob goblins! God damn it! Guy in front of me. I forgot to target them. Uh, yeah, I don't think he would live through that even if he had full hit points. Good, sir. The crushing wave of Olaf Blade. Go a little bit further out here to see what the fuck's going on across the lava. What the hell are you doing? Uh, he's... Flashy goblin thing. He seems to be reaching inside of a of an open furnace panel deep inside where... Um, the best way to explain what's happening inside there is that the laws of physics have ceased to function. Please reboot. Like his hand starts to dissolve and reform in ways that can only... <laughs> in, it, let's just say that it can't be good for him, but it probably won't be good for you either. It's a toy cost. I don't like it. Argus. You're zombies! That's, that's okay. I'm going to prepare an action to throw a javelin at the caster to try and disrupt his magic if he tries to do something else. Alternatively, if you guys are more interested in that, I can cast Bless on you. Also, that wasn't a magic spell. He literally breathed fire. Yeah, he's a half dragon, dude. Oh, well, in that case, it's just blessed going on everyone. Everyone, be blessed. Yeah. Be blessed. Be May the best. thundering be blessed. sword rend you in half. Um, he takes a five foot step. That... He's going to go full power attack. Does that reach Olaf, by the by? Holy the shit, sword. dude, you have a measuring tool. <laughs> Yes, it hits him. Fair enough. <laughs> By the way, in case you want a little extra content, you can always control click instead of just selecting to yourself for easy measuring. And it can control click. Oh, man. Look at all these fun things you can do. I remember that everyone kept doing that in Roll20. Ooh. That's all they ever did. In anyway. The campaign, I got atomic One Slash! Yes. Both. You're pretty sure. 
that if you weren't made out of solid metal at this point, that that would have hurt. <laughs> but luckily, you are made of solid metal. A lot. <laughs> he rings you like a gong. DG, you're alive. How yes. amazing. Uh, oh shit. I'm pretty sure some people are going to then... get zapped, so please roll me the zappies. Rolling zappies. I think people. Olaf might need healing. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Oh, well, shit. you have to worry two. about one less dude. Where Why does it try to load? There's something weird going on with how the software works. It keeps. Why does no, it... Whack him. I'm going to whack him with the. <laughs> I would have gotten that close with this guy here, but hey. Shit. Okay, whatever. I, I so, have to touch you. Now, this hasn't Nine come up so far, but ones are only touch? Cure yeah, spells are, are only touch. That's property transfers. Yeah. There are indeed ones that can have range attacks like Wand of Magic Missiles or Scorching Ray. Makes sense. Wink. That's what I was asking. Thanks. Matthias, there's one more hobgum standing next to you. Makes himself as big oh, as he can. I'm going to uh, finish that yeah, off. Yeah, go right here. So I'm like right behind Olaf. Yeah, yeah sure. I would probably say get behind me. Kawa in fear. At least, at least, yeah, either, at least behind me or, the, or, or, or if you don't have that much movement, the tile below where you are. Sweet yeah, Jesus, that guy's not going to have a good day. That's not adding the plus two from the bull strength, so. Have fun um, with that. Yeah, that cleaves him straight to minus ten. That's that's bisection, if you wish. Whatever no, kind of bisect, cut you want to make no. here. <laughs> Head and torso slash. Bro, you're good. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap, man. This is Raiden shit. Um, Aramis is a little bit spooked. With everything that's going on, he doesn't have any... Mm, I wish I had magic! <laughs> Why can't magic help me in this situation and context? Well, on the plus side, he still has a crossbow. By the way, you rolled something when spells were being cast. Did you roll for my plus? What? What? <laughs> you said magic is fucking here, and then you rolled something like a 1d100 or something. That was for Aramis trying to use shatter on a living thing, and the, the presumption that maybe the laws of physics oh. have changed. They that didn't. Sounds... Not That's in his favor, shame. at least. Um, fart noise. It's always good. Man in the yes, forge. It, though, at least. Um, no, not a. I appreciate my artistic impression there, but mothering is not a word. <laughs> You're not a blithering mouther. A blistering clouther. Whatever it You're is. Too Actually, isn't there like a special feature you can use to make people trans... Ooh, I'm going to see if that works. What is going on? I'm just asking you to load the beast here. Thank you. Um, you notice that the wobbly whoops on him are starting to spread, and the wobbly whoops are now him. Creepy. What the hell is that? Um, let's just say that his armor starts to sink into the liquid flesh that he's become. Oh, so he literally now is a blithering mouther. Got it. Sweet. Poor guy. Poor guy. So way to go. Dude. Hopefully he's got to cut across some lava to get to us. He's... I'm not 1800. <laughs> I meant 18.00. His initiative is 1800. Olaf, the guy in front of you looks like he's going to not be using power attack. And get that clean strike in. That's fine. Uh, well, I'm gonna bring you anyway. Let's see, I'll take the minus four though, and try to get that extra two AC. Oh, is that what the minus two included? Yes. Handsome. Um, just got to double check a few basic bits of information. Okay, That's anyway. actually with a minus four included. Okay, cool. Minus four, minus four, four to AC, because I don't have the feet yet. Well, good news. That exactly hits him. His AC is 20. Ooh, yay. For eight damage. Eight damage. That, um, let's, let, let me just be polite about this. He seems, whatever he does combat-wise, his stance seems to be focused on minimizing blows. So he actually takes a little less damage. Not not that much less, but... 
Okay, it did... You know, when I add damage reduction, I figured it might still work, but I guess it's very <laughs> fiddly. I guess I can't... Yeah, can I add damage reduction? No, no, it just starts complaining about UIDs. Great. Oh, it takes two less damage. And then it gives me every error code under the sun. Thanks, error codes. Argus. Yes. Oh. I am more than half dead. Burned and Ooh. singed. So I am going to throw a javelin at the idiot here so we can deal with the mother later. No. I'm going to step over here. <laughs> oh, because I'm sweet positively Jesus. smoking. Ha ha ha. Smoking. Smoking. Ooh. Ooh. I like that one. I should remember that one. Whoops. Ooh. Sorry, this guy's pretty complex. There's a bunch of stuff in the background that hasn't come up yet. You know what, Olaf? Since you want to die so much, he does some kind of a risky maneuver. Whoop, whoop. Oh. No. Which is to say that he tries to force you to lower your guard for a brief moment, and then goes in for one hell of a special swing. This, unfortunately, disables her from using a full attack, but if he hits, it's going to hit like a truck. It doesn't hit, though. Ooh. Good for you. I'll just give you the context. There's an extra 46 worth of damage behind that swing. We got a defending greatsword? Ouch! Yeah, man, if it gets a crit off, you're 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 a good smear on the wall. So I hope yeah. that he gets unlucky. Uh, this guy is a, is is. <laughs> you can imagine the frustration that he has to put up with these rookies. We're all already dead. <laughs> DG, Olaf yeah, is incredible. Him. How he's holding his ground against this guy. Dead. What a rock in the surf. Mm -hmm. Doing my job. Mm, do, 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 do. Hey, he look. I don't know. I'm a heal Olaf again. That's why we bought the thing. Boss fights. Nice. 12. Point 12. I see what. Can I? I can't do anything else. Can I repair the ring or, or no? Uh, it's still Harrison. So hey, heard him. Okay. Keep ring damage, please. Fire. Because he's still affected by the ring. Yeah. Three more rounds after this. Nice. Six nice. damage. Yeah. Don't make yourself too big of a target. I don't think your armor class can hold up against what he's got. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe can just I go right movement. here. I was gonna say cover. use your movement. <laughs> yeah. <I'm>, uh, <laughs> can I go all the way out? <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Matthias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of At the first moment, he looks like he was going to go for for the lady, but since she runs away, he looks like he's going to retreat into that wall and get full advantage of the fact that being close to it is dangerous, but he can just stand there just fine. Fuck no, you ain't, you little bastard. Mambo was... this motherfucker. Right. Yeah. So I'm charging, I'm gonna case strike, I'm a power to attack for two, I have bless, I have bull string. <laughs> nice. Go with that. Forgetting about bless. <laughs> Everybody does. Baba bless. Blessed right, is what? Plus, plus one. one. Yep. Plus one. In five plus e, they made it a one d four for reasons. Dumb. Uh, where, where's? Oh, remove my little key strike. All right. Well, I'll just remember that one too. Okay, so you're using key strike. That adds your. I th what does it do again? It adds your charisma to your attack. My attack and damage. Oh boy. Essentially. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, um, are there... Well, that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... You need 20. For that... Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, what extra damage has not been added to that 15 damage? Let me actually calculate this real quick, because I am due to weapon handy hitting him. So I get My the turn 1. is going to be in a few minutes, so I'm going to step away for a sec. Sorry. Sure. Oh, Good luck. What was that roll? <laughs> that's another three more damage. 18 damage. Oh man, that's a solid blow. Um, he is now staggered, as in he's at half. 
this tough son of a gun. Not quite sure what to make of that swift samurai strike. Yep. Ow! Uh, Aramis is, is giving you the old college cheer, although he can't really see, because you're beyond 30, the, your target is beyond 30 feet, so he just sees this smeary mass. <laughs> um, well, he doesn't really have anything up his sleeve. Wait, does he maybe have like a... No, he doesn't have any spell scrolls. Great. Good on you, good sir. Yeah, I'm some of those for him. He puts his hands in his sides and grumbles. Grumble, grumble. From the forward rolls grumble. this blubbering buff. It moves very slowly, and its gibbering only is just starting, meaning you're not quite affected by it yet, but once it gets through, you might just hear it loud and clou clear. Mm -hmm. Olaf. I mean, if he pulls you into that wall, you're going to be flame-broiled. Sure. Or cooked. I'm confident in my strength, though, so... Well, you are a dwarf. Standing to your ground is your, is your thing. It's kind of your thing, you know? Spike defensively again. Attack him. No! <gasps> That's a miss. Unfortunately, your defensive techniques only leaves openings for him. Ha ha! Argus! Even? Even accounting for a blast by the by? Yeah. 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 It's eight, it, he needs to hit 20. Alright, fair enough. It's a 10, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to step out, I'm going to throw another javelin at this motherfucker. Boop, 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 boop. I want them dead. Do you have a precise shot, I think? Yeah. I think you don't, so um, good luck. I do not. Give it a whirl. Does this mean he's concealed, or...? Plus 4 to AC. Essentially of a minus 4 to your attack roll, to be specific. Right, <laughs> that makes specific. sense. Specific. I might not be able to hit him then, unless it's a crit. Listen, I'm constantly looking at this big multicolored dream that's happening off to the side. <laughs> and I am too, especially I'm trying not to look at it. And the lavender lushness coming from <laughs> TG's and helping. Let me, let me check something real quick. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to cast through strike first, and then I'm going to still wait here. So I'm going to mope. It's unclear if it's reverence, reverence, or if he's just very interested in what Mr. Matthias is doing with that big short of his. Um, he seems curious, interested in what your what strange fighting style you have, boy. Um, he looks like he's close to dropping the sword and just going for a raw savage beatdown because he does have the bite of a dragon and the claws of a dragon, which would give him way more attacks and more chances to actually get through. Because Olaf is just not relenting. But first, he must finish off this boy. It's going to go for the Down. big power attack swing. Zoosh. Asshole. Oh. Me or him? Uh, Matthias. Oh, Matthias him. got a really good swing on him, so he's like, oh, I want to look. And then he steps I'm into the flames. DG. Huh? My reaction, Adam. I'm running. I'm running it. And... Matthias, did that hit you? Yeah, I think it did. Oh, oh wait, actually, a twenty with bless. That's that would. What? Re why do you get a reaction? Away from me. Five foot step. Oh, he took a five foot step. Never mind. Back down, everyone. Back down. DG rushes in. <laughs> the ambulance. Bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm giving you both. And cool. I hit him again with the the lightning. These gonna wear out next turn so it's one more good use yeah although at this I point he can just one. charge out and hit you if he wanted to um matthias standing adjacent of the wall inflicts 1d6 fire damage because it's so hot standing inside of it would probably do a lot more so if i move one square it's 1d6 fire yup fuck it <laughs> no rest for the wicked full attack exactly all right, I will roll the damage unless you want to roll it for me. Surprise me. I only took two. Would you look at that? Little, little yeah, singe on the hair. Shit. Sweat's wearing you down. New full attack. Still got to so remember new. the plus three to these attacks. Oh boy. All right. Battle hit. 
Hey. So, six and nine. Oh, an extra. Okay, yeah, he's starting to look. Uh, he's really starting to look like he's feeling the pain, as it were. Uh, although the heat obscures much of what he, you know, his his features, as it were. Uh, Aramis will, however, get a clean. No, he can't get a clean. Well, if he rushes in a little bit, he's like, "I'm new. Don't worry about me. I'm just shooting that massive weirdness." Unfortunately, the mass of weirdness doesn't care about anything but bludgeoning attacks. Unfortunately, those zombies were great at those. Too bad they're gone now. Um, what are the senses on this thing? Because I need to know what it's going to go for. Oh, it's just a star screen. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it has five targets. We're going to go left to right. One d five. One d five. Um, it tries to go for Matthias for some reason. Uh, this thing moves into the wall first. We'll roll the one d six for the for the basics. Because I don't think it's immune or resistant to fire. So it just starts to burn up. Didn't it take more? If it's it was flash, uh, it's going to get... Cold. Yeah, it's going into the wall. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. It's a really hot flame. And this thing doesn't have a good mind on its, in its head. But just know that fire bad. No. And then it tries to get you in the... I would say in the butt. But let's not be uh, too, too angsty here. Chomp. <laughs> Or one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the yeah, danger of this that. thing is when it starts to bite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Many mouths. Sure. Olaf, what is this thing, and why does it only partially resemble a hobgoblin? <laughs> Warping and rippling go... like a large wad of clay with teeth yeah. and eyes forming sporadically. Are you going to go for a full hobgoblin or for a partial hobgoblin? The other thing the counts as one. I'm thinking. Um, I well, I I can't step forward and attack that hobgoblin because this thing got in the way. So I'm just going to attack this withering mouther creature, hobgoblin mm, puddle. That would be a twenty-five Ooh. to hit. I keep forgetting to add the bluff. Unfortunately, slashes and cuts and stabs seem to quickly regenerate. The shapeless mass must be beaten into submission. If it is even weak to beating, sure doesn't uh, care about a clean cut. Right, then I take a five foot step. Yonder. Arcus. Yes. Make an attack. The half goblin. Plus I twenty, plus you 20. hit. Yes. Ow. I'm gonna My me. Ouchie. Ouchie, my knee. He steps back out of the flames, seeing Olaf be so eager. It just inspires him with madness. The gibbering next to his ear is starting to work his mind. He drops the greatsword on the ground, which probably begins to build up heat as it sits in the wall of fire and goes for a raw half-dragon fury upon poor Olaf. Half-dragon fury? Miss? Those are all misses. Gosh. He tries to I'm peel dragon. you like a can, but you keep it together. DG. Your mother was a kobold and your father was a stovepipe. Oh. <laughs> like it, Dargan. I've been Jay. teaching you now. Still fight. Two damage to him. And I want to do do do. And the wand is at range, right? No, the wand needs to touch the target. God damn it. Uh, I mean, I'm if a, you want to, you can, I... tr you can cast it and see if your throwing helps, but. Yeah, no. Oh, uh... God, no. I'm gonna. Crap, who do I want to not. Uh, can I. What is the five step thing? That... Do? Don't be near Matt Mather, bro. You said what? So don't be do near not that. be near the mouth. I mean, it looks like a big wad that can, that can consume you in a single... Okay, I'm going to go so right here, uh, click it on Matthias, and then leave. So you can't take oh, your yeah. five-foot step, because you already moved, just so you're aware. God damn. So if you move, he'll get more. Matthias. Matthias, you get 14 health. 
Yes. Did you know that you're going to be short on a healer if you don't do something fast? Yes, I know. <laughs> Just some pro strats. You suck that And then I'm going to move. I, I will take you attack luxury, but I want to go over here. So, what's Okay, what's going on? You you are you healing him or not? Yeah, I I went he, over here, healed him, he and then I went back. in, and then he's moving out, so he's taking an attack yeah. opportunity from the boss creature for some reason. Well, to be fair, Should he I dropped his or? big scary death sword, so it's true. Oh, oh. I yeah, yeah. Here's a big scary claw to the back. Luckily, you're wearing armor uh, that can soak that blow. He hey, missed by yeah, one. Yeah. Thank God. God. All right. Damn you, Draconic Freak. You need to go down. He yes. Yells. In his dying throes, he yells something about the... I don't know. It's kind of hard to listen to a man who's... On fire. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's still alive. I forgot that he has partial damage. damage. He has damage. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, if you increase it to 13, I guess he's minus. Blip. He falls yes. unconscious. You still have this big pool of mouth to deal with. That's fine. Oh, I got this. Aramis is excited. He's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, guess what I got? I got a hand full of electricity. I've been waiting to use this all day. Oh. Um, I what think... do you have? A knife? No! <laughs> <laughs> he also activates his arcane gloves, giving them that little extra zest. Yes. Ooh. It pays cool. off to give him fishy stuff. I'm going to slap this thing before it starts brainwashing us with madness. And then everyone starts attacking everyone else. That's the fun part of one. Um, yep. Please do not... Thank you. I mean, Touchy is only 11, but hey. Good job for you. 5d6, baby! Baby. An overhead slap. And the creature falls silent. Turning into a... You know, there's, there's blood on the ground, and then there is... Just raw pink flesh spreading out like a liquid. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> Combat is over. I'm going to tally, tally the points real fast. Give me a moment. That's five of those. That's one of those. He is a CR... I think he's like a CR five. And that... Wait, no. Does half dragon increase it? i say with that fire breath, probably. <laughs> yeah, it goes up to CR... Seven? Yes, he has seven. And the mother is five. It's a lot more dangerous when it starts talking to us. I'm going to make him four. And we got a seven. Handsome. Well, the wall of fire begins to slowly dissipate, turning into a soft and gentle breeze as it does. Um, the forge up ahead is a strange construction, to be certain. Now that you can see it clearly, and now that it's starting to work you, as in... Let's just say that part of your skin starts changing color, scales begin to grow in odd places, or you feel a bit stiff, or for some reason your entire forearm just limps forward as part of the bone turns to rubber. Um, these are exaggerations that will happen in due time, but they help sell the idea that being close to this thing is the worst thing you can do. It's like radiation. That can't be good. Yeah, I, I saw some dude turn into a mouther. Uh, we gotta do something about it, but I don't know what. Um, a mouther? Ugh. Yeah, that mouth creature thing. I don't know. Ugh. That puddle. Goblin a puddle thing. But now yeah. that you can see it without the firewall in the way, you can tell that there are these very clear crystalline objects shoved into parts of the machine that are crackling and sparkling with energy. Get within the glowing corona, however, and you need to make a fort save to avoid getting affected, to put it politely. I'm, I'm going to throw my last javelin at one of the crystals. There are a few of them, so... Let's see how I do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's it. I'll say you get two with that one. Uh, the machine does not seem to like this. There is this brief rumble that then turns into a wobble. There are three crystals remaining. Uh, Aramis just starts, an initiative? just starts backing off. <laughs> uh, Olaf delivers... Again, it's as if Lady Luck herself is giving you what you need as the attacks, as your bolt ricochets between two of them. Does this thing have a probability field? Oh, it might. I want a third javelin, too. A forced javelin careens through the air. One left. 
Um, I don't want to know what happens when you destroy an object that is made of pure transmutative energy. Oh shit! Yes, maybe uh, might maybe want to get on this side of the door and then uh, shoot it. Y yeah. Yeah. I am gonna roll some things in secret because I think that's funny. I'll tell you how it goes. Funny things in secret. That's that's within range. Don't worry. I'll tell you if anything particularly exciting happens. Otherwise, I'll give you the lowdown schloder. Hey! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, shit. That's a 20 and a 19, by the way. You're you're on a goblin killing high, I assume. <laughs> they didn't burn me, and I killed them all. <laughs> Sorry. There is no life, you. only death. Thank you. Yes. The greatest thing in life is to see your enemies driven before you. And hear the lamentation of the women. The women? God. The hobgoblin. Like, yeah. You hear them scream. Five, nine. Okay. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great either. Um, all right. Well, let's roll some fort saves. The whole party gets to join in. We all roll fort saves? Please, yes. Aramis dives in cover. Is this a magical effect? Probably, considering it's coming from this big magic machine. Um, all right, Argus and Olaf and Matthias, I got some bad news for you. Of course. Argus, one half of your face is now permanently looking as if it's stripped of flesh. Like, you can see the bone. Straight up. You feel I fine. Like two-faced? Like two-faced? No, it's... A uh, closer examination reveals that it's just gone completely transparent. The flesh is still there, but it doesn't look like it. Guys, just to you, I have a huh. plus eight. I roll four. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. You amazing mother, mother, mother. Matthias, on the other hand, gets off relatively easy. His, he gets these weird scars on his hands, you know, like when you... Sort of like eczema, like you've rubbed them together for too long and it's just gotten all calloused up. In a very raw way. Maybe the burning caught off. Olaf, on the other hand, is... Com His sense of balance is thrown off. He's, you're not quite sure why, but for like the coming few days, it always feels like the world is at like a 20 degree incline. Uh, oh, God. Hell? This is like when I had finished that keg of Dorvin Ale. Ugh. This also blowing around. This induces a, a tendency to roll to places. But hey. Big ball anyway. <laughs> um, well, after this, there are some shock. There are some aftershocks, but luckily you guys have only been here for so short that you're not too affected outside of these minor things that you can probably fix if you find someone with big enough magic. Or ask a god nicely. I don't have an, an exact image, but this is similar enough. Sure. If you want it to be like that, then that's fair, fine to me. It's cool looking. It definitely adds to your intimidation factor. Mm. <laughs> it adds to your intimidation I, I, factor. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, lizard. You look awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ugh. So, because Ugh. because all the flesh is transparent, this does mean that you see his teeth like slightly float in his skull because of the the gums are invisible. Yes. Uh, oh, I think uh, it's awesome. Are you kidding me? Oh uh, yeah. Goblins wait, are gonna is it? Aim out of sight at you, man. I love it. Is it Aramis that looks like the half? Aramis or is that, or is that Argus? Matthias has Argus scars. I'm I'm stumbling around like I'm drunk and I you know I'm tilted on a weird like axis, mm -hmm. and Argus has a see-through face. Uh, um, uh. Oh no. <laughs> um, Aramis just seems to be suffering from a severe case of vomiting. Uh, he probably get it together. Wizard. I mean, he might have what you have, but worse, considering that he. Seems unclear which direction is up. Uh, 
Someone strap on the lizard. I mean, not the lizard. The, uh, the, the devil man. The wizard. I'll carry him. It's fine. The only thing I need... Uh, now, has the effect dissipated from the forge? Once um, the local area is still suffused, like permeated with the stuff, but you can imagine that it will probably reduce over time. Although gonna... you can't imagine that the walls being made of flesh is going to stay fresh for long. That's fine. I suggest we go out, take a rest, and come back here because I need my throwing sticks. Yeah, uh, fair enough. I think we also need proof because uh, th this will here says to bring proof. Uh, maybe Shards like one of the crystal might be. Yeah, good. that's good enough. Shard of crystal. Probably need a lead box for it. Is this the part where you loot the room? No. Yeah. Like it's said, oh, we're no. going to wait like for a day before coming back. You know, the we're going to be sure sleeping in this hallway for a day. Yeah. Although, Tios is like fine. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go uh, loot this hobgoblin creature thing later for any information or. Uh, well, the gibbering mother oh, is this not big. The oh, not, oh, not the gibbering mother. Sorry. No, no. This guy up here. You're going to loot him right away? All right. Then I don't get to rule to see if the equipment transmutes as a result of this exposure. How no, sad. Fine. If we're doing it, I'm going to help him. Um, Maybe well, we should just grab the corpse. I'll give you the long yeah, yeah. short of it. He has a, pl a plus one defending greatsword. He has a pretty beefy composite short bow. His shirt, upon closer examination, is made out of mithril. It's real shirt. What's that? He also what has, is that again? Uh, he also has four potions of cure moderate wounds. Oh, yeah. Let's each take one of those. Let's just take the corpse and carry it out and then divide it. Yep. Not not, not, not next to the elephant's food. You take a moment and head back out. Yeah. I take all of my sticks then. <sighs> What, a day. what the hell? The armor has a arcane spell failure of ten percent. What the? If you are an arcane oh, spellcaster, which you bad. are not, Good. that's a problem. Uh, you are a druid, though, so you can't wear it, or you yeah, lose your you powers. Oh yeah. yeah. It interferes yeah. Oh, yeah, with your. That... It interferes with your connection to nature. Mystical. Oh yeah, gestures. we're like no metal for me, thank you. You got iron wooden stuff for that. It's not a bad option for the. Do you wear even with the ten percent yeah. failure? Do you wear like a hood or something? Does mm. your cloak or clothing have a hood? Me? Yes. Mm, no. I don't need uh, one. That's a shame. I was planning to just hide like a metal spoon or a knife or a fork on you somewhere. Oh my god, you asshole. <laughs> so. That will teach you not to run into dangerous pools. So. I did have I do have a friend who actually had like a trick where he put a, a druid in manacles and the GM ruled that that technically counted <laughs> as interfering with the connection. I mean that well, would yeah, make sense. I personally metal. love the idea of like a high level druid being like ah god damn it this is why I get freedom of movement every day. Can't be can't be bound. <laughs> He's just running after the party druid with some shackles in your hands. That can't be misinterpreted. Ugh. That's a little like OP. Like, oh, oh, one spoon negates all my powers. Well, what? to be fair, you have to have them in your hands, and you have to have the time and the risk to go over there and apply them. There's a lot involved. Also, they can turn into a bear, and then just start mauling you, and they don't fit anymore. So... Oh, that's true. Can I shapeshift if I'm entangled by... Shapeshifting tends to be non-violent, so it doesn't destroy anything that's in the way. Otherwise, you die all the time. There are some shapeshifts that is. go around that, particularly Bilf. Well, Polymorph doesn't give a shit, but... But those are dangerous magics you don't want to be using if you want to live. Uh, all right, kids, you make your way outside. You gotta oh, rest. By the way, that, that Mask of Darkness, is it metal? No, it's made of wood. Oh, uh, did we take yeah. a long rest? I'm confused. You're taking a no, big, long nap, I assume. We're going out oh, we to did. work. You wanted to take a day to let the radiation dissipate. Yes. Which it does. Oh, Luckily, being outside, 
<laughs> Your dwarven friend is able to recover from his condition quite quickly. And even, although Aramis still looks a bit pale. Are they okay? He, he's a wuss, that's what it is. He will extremely low on his fort save. <laughs> <laughs> you still a little drunk there, buddy. I mean, he looks more like he had the fright of his life in his... <laughs> Boy, is. Not, nothing a good meal won't fix. Well, Argus, you want to see if that's true? Yeah, I want to roll. You gotta, we gotta, we gotta, you really gotta buy some season if you really want to impress. But let's see what you can make of the stuff that's around here. Sure. Let's see if the uh, local transmutative explode. Uh, Listen, you are cooking near an explosion area. The food you cooked just loses all flavor. As long as it's filling, it's the calorie intake that's important. And the guy who can't keep his meal down probably doesn't mind. Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of it. <clears throat> well, Aramis and all, you wake up in the morning. There's not much at night. All the hobgoblins are dead, and this place is so abandoned that anything that does come by tends to be sporadic and rare. Which is to say, nobody shows up. And you have time to go back down and take a look. Yes. In There's one day, the whole to... place got significantly better to his best as it sh can shape allowed. Like, the police isn't waving or anything. Uh, the normal light sources seem to have returned to some extent, so you can just use them to navigate. The forge has calmed down. Guys, we did it. Woo! Right. Yeah. A couple of the crystal shards and some evidence, and Olaf says, Ugh, Now I get to take you boys to a real town. A dwarf town. Yeah. Um, we are already out of Dwarf Town. No, this is oh my god! This is ruined and it got smushed together. This is not. Doesn't a oh. Does anyone here speak right. Infernal? Assuming not our Infernal Tiefling. Yeah, the, the the Tiefling is the one who holds up the note as he goes like this. Anyone here speak Infernal? Or do I have to translate all of this? Please translate uh, it. I don't I don't read that shit. Ugh. Aramis reads loud a note that has some concerning information on it, although on the same hand, it also feels kind of slighty. Um, it mentions the guy by name, which I forgot to write down. Good job, me. It mentions at length, you're a good sport, you're good at your job, you know, good, good fighter, you know how to keep him down, but you're a little in the way, so here's some things I heard about that are interesting for you to go and take a look at. In the meantime, when you're done and come back, probably a failure, but at least with some more competent hobgoblins. The corpses have uh, changed a bit. One of them is made of ice now. Cool. You may come back, and we'll make something out of you. The invasion plans are progressing nicely on my end, at least. So on the plus side, I won't have to bother with you, and you won't have to bother with me. And you can prove yourself on your own terms and come back when you are fine. Do note that I do not want you returning any time sooner than we agreed. As I mentioned, you are a pain. You might have been the first to be blessed by Tiamat in this expedition and invasion, but that does not mean that you have any particular... greater chance of success. Uh, the whole thing then goes... It, it mentions the basics of someone in Elservale, like a nearby area. The Worm Bones, the Worm Smoke Mountains. They're in the, the Hammer f uh, Fist Hold area. They are planning some sort of invasion of the Vale, and this guy's been sent here because it's like, oh, I heard of this cool thing that can make people into cooler things, and this guy was like, I want to get rid of you, so why don't I just send you there? Oh, shit. Here's an important mission. Here's some idiots. If you come back, they'll be good idiots, and you might learn to be a little bit nicer. You know, clearly a set-up job. But mm. this invasion plan feels very legit because... The details are sparse, but if you read between the lines, and luckily you have a wizard who can do that very well, this strongly implies a lot of goblin villages, hopgoblins and stuff, are uniting under a single banner. The big thing that makes hopgoblins and goblins generally manageable is that they don't do that. This implies that they have giants and goblins with wargs and some pretty well-trained soldiers and generals on their side. But hey, that's just the theory. Maybe they got their asses kicked in the meantime. Who knows? That is bad. Well, on the plus side, you're going that way anyway if you want to collect this low bounty. If not, well, hey. Doesn't seem to be a pressing matter, because all this is written in a very lackadaisical kind of thing. Like, oh, we're just we're just busy with negotiations. It'll be fine. 
Judging by the amount of scrawls on the paper, though, he doesn't like it. He thinks the paper is mean to him. Oh. Aramis applauds sarcastically, going, We've done it. We've saved the day, or something. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think I like this whole dungeon crawling business. It's so dirty, and I think I almost got incinerated there. Well, you're you're alive. Yeah, an yeah, place. Place. Yes. Yeah, the fire was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I feel great. <sighs> well, on the plus side, we're making a, a way like bandits, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> and we got treasure awaiting us at the Hammerfist halls. Got to kill some goblins. Got some new equipment. We're getting treasure. What a day! <laughs> <laughs> Will they be able Wait, to forge we... something for me? Uh, yeah, but they're the best smiths in the entire bow. They're in the holds. Considering the service you've done, they might even allow you to go walk inside, Argus. Yeah, no, they're my people. Uh, I'll, I'll give them the good word. I can't do that in normal places, but, you know, in the holds, I sort of get sway. Lovely. Hmm. Are you all right, Argus? You look a little... Um... Upset? I can't really tell since you don't have any lips anymore. Uh, it's a flesh wound. Looks cool. We, as we, need a, we need a cleric stat. Ah, yes. He looks awesome. Did we forget the part where our lady here got brain drained by. Yeah, I need, I, I need a. Yeah, you stuck your foot in that slime pool. Wait, it, it ate your brain. Mm. Yeah, it, I'm like kind of sucked right now. My, She's been my complaining about that, headaches. Me... Haven't you been paying attention? Yeah. We need to go to a cleric's dad. Okay. Delzimmer might help us then. That's Grab what I was thinking that. too. Stop there first and head to the hold. I'm yeah. so certain that the Church of Morden would appreciate the death of a goblin enough. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Are we sure we want to take Olaf back to Dilsma, knowing what we know? I mean, but I tell a bunch of dwarves there that they got goblins coming their way, and we're going to kill them. He, like, does this wink-wink, nudge-nudge to everyone else about, you know, the part where there's goblins in that city? Oh, oh Wait, shit. What? Uh, 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 goblins live in that city. You probably shouldn't go around saying, hey... Goblins are no, he's happy. talking about the part where Olaf is probably going to try to fight them. Oh, There's goblins in that oh, yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, no, no, no. This you is because you didn't see them the first time. This is what we meant. We rolled for it, and Olaf didn't see any. Yeah, I didn't see any. So this is what she meant. I got it now. When she meant we she's talking about the purge, she meant the goblin purge, yeah. We're going back, all right. Mm -hmm. Aramis in the yeah. back is just like hand in his face, going, "Oh, <laughs> Argus, why did you mention it, Argus?" Yeah. Well, that was. Well, we can we can we can take a step back and say that that wasn't carriage because I didn't even try to put on an accent at that, that time. <sighs> I'll leave it up to I you. I did guys. say we rolled. We don't roll in character. All right, that's fine. If you didn't say it, we'll just take that all back. We'll take it all back. Yeah. Um, that being said, Aramis is like, listen, we can explore this place further if we want to. Or we can go back to civilization, buy Argus some spice so that he doesn't cook that disgusting slop anymore. It was pretty nasty today, but I've had worse. I've had worse. <laughs> Argus is just going to pot about it for a little bit. I know that. Yeah, it... With the, with the way I was rolling so far, it's probably like that Bender episode where they just keep pouring like the the slop that he makes into the pot, and you the guys, plant keeps dying. When uh. I first met this guy, he tried to give me worms and wheat. Then get it, like worm porridge. <laughs> porridge. <laughs> I mean, I could make a joke. It's spaghetti with meat, dude. <laughs> it's, like, it's spaghetti worms. with meat. It's, well, it does look like worms. It's getty and balls. Baby, uh, everyone's level four, was it? Yes. Shit, then I made a mistake. I need to double check all the data. I need to cross. Okay, yeah, you're all level four. It's the boys who are level five, technically. Well, in that case, I made a mistake. I need to redo the experience calculations. Good job, me. Sorry. One thing that I would like to do 
I love so that all uh, all of us obviously did math wrong because I'm at eight thousand forty-five. The goal is at eight thousand seventy-five, and Matthias is at eight thousand thirty-five. Uh, uh, I'm doing. I'm keeping track, y'all. I'm keeping track. Uh huh. Six two forty. Plus, that's 1,200. I'll take your one, why not? And then that's like 300. <laughs> and then we'll divide that by 5. I so I believe I might be getting a different number. Well, you should. Because you are different. Yes. You're different in mind and soul. Oh, wait, no, that's not supposed to be said in Goblin. Ah, yes, I understand everything. <sighs> <laughs> As for Argus and, and, and Aramis, who have a slightly different experience curve because they're technically level 5. I uh, I translate the goblin from the gods to everyone else. The gods say, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. yo, yo. yo, yo. I'm god, yo, yo bro. Yo, yo, yo. Then it's like 1,200. And then like an extra. So I'm confused. Are we going to Delzimar? Oh, we're getting close, guys. Super close. This one is for the rest, for Argus and Ar Aramish in particular. 43 is. Okay, he's at 1200, 12,020. No, no. Oh, oh gosh, he keeps hating that decimal point. Okay. Well, he's underway to get a good other level. Oh, man, soon he'll have fireballs. Yes. Fireball, fireball. Now, me and Armus have different experiences because we joined at different points, correct? Um, actually, I just noticed that like the rest of the gang is like almost at a level up, so... Yes. Yep. We're 105 short. That's why I was about to suggest... 105. I was actually kind of yeah. shorting you on experience. Let me just double up on this. Um, oh. How about yeah, you? You know what? We... Hmm? Because we were at 8,075 and we gained 1,820, so we're 105 short. You know what? Oh, we just gained 1,820 right now. Sorry, I missed that. Yes. How about you? T everyone takes an extra 240 experience points. We'll just say that, you know, you did a quest. Sweet. And I want you guys to level up because I think you're neat. 1,820 plus 118. Plus 118 plus an extra 240. So that would be 2,060. Two, three, Which should put you to level f Yeah. So to extra two hundred and forty added to mine as well. Yes, you right? don't level up though, but the rest of the gang does. Three, five, eight. Level five. You're all ooh. Our druid level gets up. fancy spells now. Wait, I'm confused. How are we uh, leveling up if we only got three hundred? Added points? to the eighteen hundred and twenty. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. sorry. So it's two thousand and whatever we got. Mm. Allow me He's to being kind. Holy shit! Yeah. Being kind because we were so short. Yeah. Because I I don't like ending on like oh we only need two hundred and twenty. Uh. There are a couple things that I want to do in the dungeon. So what I don't you... have to have to make. Well, how about forward. we do that in between sessions, Argus? There was not one undead in the locked room. 10,115. Got it. Level up, bitch. I'm getting called for dinner. Okay. But first, let's look at some of the exciting new things your druid can do as a level 5 druid. Calling down lightning. <laughs> dominating animals. Ooh. You can... Oh, shit! Oh, there's, there's also a great one called Poison. Doesn't sound like much. You slap a person, uh, they make a fort save, or they take 1d10 temporary con damage. And another one minute later. I would like to point out that that con damage reduces hit points and sucks balls. It's it's one of those spells you don't see coming when it slaps you. Ooh, boy, does it hit you around the cheeks. My god. Also, you can now wild shape. Yeah, woo! Watch it, motherfucker. But, yeah. The fighter's as fightery <laughs> as ever. Hmm. Can I still use my... Oh, yeah, I can still use my ring ring while watching. It's pretty cool. Yeah, your ring, I think it's just a mental action. So, yep. 
Anyway, kids, you enjoy yourselves. I gotta yep. go.